yeah, if we do uh, this right? As I recall, um, Kamal, you said you had your pole axe in hand. Uh, Nino, I know, had a short bow. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, I don't recall what Ico or Sir Morgan were doing. But you would all had as, as much time as you wanted to prepare. Was... I've got sword and board, basically, so. Oh, right. Stand at the front. Great. Well, right now you guys are standing on a pair of boulders. Um, each one is uh, about five feet tall, we'll say. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess I'm going to... Uh, Iko, is there anything you wanted to uh, get ready on your side? Yeah, I think I had some shurikens ready. Um, I don't have a ranged attack, do I? Uh, shurikens are your ranged attack. attack. Yeah, okay. Those are ready. Okay. Hmm. Then since uh, I don't think we've actually had a combat in a while, since this is our second session back after our enormously long break, um, Kamau, if you want to target the zombie bear... Oh, you have targeted the zombie bear. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> hey, guys, before we start, before we initiate this... Do you mind if I go into hiding? I want to try and see what he's digging up. Go for it. Okay. Do you want me to roll for that? Um, what is it you're trying to do? Because so, you're elevated and you can see the small hole that he's dug. Oh, it's, so I can um, see into it from here? You can. And he, uh, he, the bear has actually dug six or seven of these that you can see. Okay. Um, several, several of them are close to the um the creek's bank mm -hmm. and there's nothing in them there's just small clobs of dirt laying next to the holes but there's nothing actually in the holes okay leaves dirt roots but no no skulls or money or other things of interest okay i'll stay here then with my short bow so it hasn't found what it's looking for yet wah, wah. well right now it's standing on uh Three legs with its fourth leg, its paw, uh, up and at a right angle, and it's it's just staring forward mindlessly, not vaguely in your direction, but not directly at you. And it drops its paw, and it scoops out a a bit of dirt or drags its paw through the dirt, and more dirt comes out, and then it resumes its original position where its paws at a ninety degree angle suspended in the air, and it's standing only on three legs. What on earth is he doing? And there's nothing, like, I'm assuming that we've done perception rolls to see if there's anything around us that the bear is facing? Well, it was facing uh, due west, mm -hmm. um, but it turned slightly, and now it's facing southwest. But it's not staring at uh, anything that you've been able to find so far. In oh, fact, what it's, what it's staring towards... Um, is there's a sharp rock face on the left, and it seems to be staring at the rocks, if anything. Okay. <laughs> In so he was staring the waterfall direction, right? Where there should be a waterfall, but I can't edit this program to make waterfalls? Okay. Yes. I'm just making now sure, because he... you get east and west <laughs> and stuff. Okay. That is entirely true. Um, <laughs> yes, right now he will say he is staring at uh, the, the area where the creek comes out of the ground. Okay. <clears throat> Where's um, Asha? Asha is not there. She is off hunting oh, and has yeah. not returned. That's right, that's right. She's I'll not there to whistle. save you from the bear. That's all right, I'll blow my whistle. Okay. Uh, I take it back, I won't do that. The bear will hear it, yeah. That's too bad. Maybe. I kind of feel like this is a don't care bear. <laughs> oh my goodness! What? Oh wow! <laughs> that uh, that was some. I do the care, <laughs> care Bear stare in a moment. Let's do it. Um, all right. All right. Session over. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Everyone, go home. Good channel wins. Can't bear it, eh? <laughs> no. We gotta bury this. The knife's gonna be unbearable. <laughs>
Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> All please, right. Oh, please kill the bear quickly. <laughs> Dead. Okay. So, um, Varla? Or it's Kamau's turn. Okay. All right. Is it my um, turn? Well, Kamau, you're the one who said that you were going to try and uh, do something to the bear. Sweet. So I just put the turn marker on you. Okay. Um, so feel free, unless you, you want to uh, try something else, like crossing the river and talking to the bear, putting your head in its mouth. No, no. Uh, seeing what it's got in the hole. Uh, feel free to attack it with your mighty, mighty axe. I will. I will. Uh, and, I'm and just gonna. Now. And, and I say, gonna really? Laugh. You're oh, gonna I attack just... it before talking to it? Oh yeah. Okay. I sign. Yeah. Off the bear knows sign language. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. I guess I just uh, double click on this. Maybe I don't remember. It's been a while. Oh, you've got God. the shit. You've got shadow dice next to your different attacks. I don't know why I did that. Delete. I, I have two of them now. Anyways, shadow dice. He says. Yeah. One second. Weird things happened. You've managed to uh, duplicate your throne pole axe of returning uh, yeah, yeah. icon. So you can just right click on one of those and delete it if you want. I will afterwards. All right. After this, I guess. You Is can take it? those oh, shadow dice. Shadow and... dice. I don't even see any shadow dice. Are you looking at the. Uh... Looking at the combat. I should be in the skills or what? No, you should be on the combat tracker. I am. There are no shadow dice there. Oh, do we need to? Be... Oh, I'm sorry. Um, click on next to your name. Click on the boot, the sword, and the shield, and that will open up your attacks. Boot, sword, shield. Yeah, there we the go. boot is the movement menu. The sword is your attacking menu. Uh, the shield is your defense menu. That's how I do that. There we go. We delete one of those, and now I can. You can either double click those dice, or you can drag the dice onto the combat tracker. Oh, those. <clears throat> cool. Uh, you have hit it for eight points of damage and an A slash critical. Uh, A being the weakest, E being the worst. So it's a minor critical. There are, uh, it's called result roll, two black dice on the right-hand side of the combat tracker by your name. If you could double-click on those, that will give us your critical result. Not great. Unless low is better. <laughs> Keep your fingers crossed. Better. Where are those red dice we need? 23. He's wounded. We... So um does my pole axe immediately come back to me? So all of you have never seen this before. A pole axe is actually a pole arm. It's a six foot staff. It's got a large uh, iron point on the top and a large axe on the side. Kamau raises it over his head. He overhands it, and it flips through the air, hitting the bear squarely in the shoulder. Damn. And then dislodges itself, stands uh, top end up, and flies back into his hand, much like Thor's hammer. Okay, oh, Mjolnir. Yeah. <laughs> that, that is amazing. <laughs> I've seen this. <laughs> I, I've actually seen this before. <laughs> the bear um, doesn't react other than the, the meaty sound of the poleaxe striking into its shoulder, but it lifts its head towards you and it looks at you. Oh. You see off to the side, um, there is the body wow. of, it, it looks like a, a goblin, oh, mm -hmm. and it's laying on its back. Its arms are spread out, its legs are splayed. Mm -hmm. It seems like that's where it died. It just fell over backwards. But its yeah. head touches its, ch its, its chin, touches its chest, and it looks at you. Oh, boy. In fact, they all look at you. Ah, fuck. Um, <laughs> I blow the whistle. I blow the whistle. <laughs> What's Come the now. deer? Come now. Elk? It's an O deer. The, the deer <laughs> is a is a stag in the water, 
dagger. And a massive rack of horns slowly begins to rise out of the water. Everyone can roll initiative. Oh, uh, uh, shit. What have you done, Kamal? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Initiative. Initiative. It's like on the main thing, right? Yeah. Here it is. Do we put it in the tower or the... Uh, it's, um, Here. no, it's not in the tower. Bad rolls, bad oh, rolls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so bad rolls. No. That was just a practice roll, right? Yes. Now, get him out now. now typically, every uh, non-player character would have a different initiative. However, in this case... I have mine. Oh, okay. Yeah. They all seem to have the same. Zombie goblin thing. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Holy, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12. <laughs> All right, and the only person who has not rolled is Varla because she is obviously too too stunned and shocked by what she's seeing. Collectively, all of their heads turned and they're all staring at Kamau. And for their their turns, they're all going to be slowly, mechanically getting to their feet and moving towards you. Do we still have Wolf here with us or did we ditch him? He's he is He's watching the guarding uh, Treva and the horses. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. Cool. In fact, Ash is watching over them as well. Uh, no, she doesn't like them. She was uh, going to stick with you, but you sent her off hunting. I feel like I sent her off. Yeah, maybe. Maybe she never came back. Nope. And for the record, uh, you have all been walking all night. You're hungry. Yeah. And oh, you're tired. We hungry don't for zombie. Mm -hmm. oh. Hungry However, for zombie flesh. Your blood is quickening. Kamal, you're up. <laughs> Nino, you're on deck. Oh, wow. I get to go again. Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna hit the biggest fucking thing, probably. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Guess I'm gonna stay where I am. These guys are all zombies. I turn to Morgan and I say, so how do we kill zombies? <laughs> Theoretically, the sunlight should kill them. So we just uh -oh. have to last a little while. <laughs> <laughs> All Actually, right. you waited until the sun had come up. That's uh -huh. right. And, and, didn't. and uh, the bear seemed completely oblivious to the sun striking it. Right. Yeah. Right. According, so these are not undead. According to Phaon's blessing, undead cannot withstand the power of the sun. And yet... These things seem to be able to. Perhaps it's like the that land theory has been sung. After all. Oh, God. Land. All right. I'll attack the bear. The not all right. so bear. Oh, God. <clears throat> okay. Ugh. What do you mean, ugh? I want higher. I want crazy, crazy high. <laughs> so. Uh, to roll damage. Oh, no. You hit the bear, but you fail to do any damage. Nonetheless, your poleaxe sails through the air to strike the, the bear ineffectively and once again returns to your hand. All right. Um, uh, throwing a missile weapon. Every, everyone has 100% action per round. Mm -hmm. um, firing a missile weapon is only 60%, so you still have 40% of your round left if there's something that you would like to do. Oh, sweet. Um, okay. I'll save that for defense. Let's see if I, sh if I share that. There you go. Oh, wow. So can we take this action at any time during the round as long as our turn has already passed? Like um, the additional 40%. Yeah, if he wants to hold on to the additional 40%, he can, or he can uh, do whatever he wants. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm going to save it so that I uh, can you defend need a myself. You need a minimum of 50% action to defend yourself. So oh. you don't have it. If some, something were to approach, 
you don't have enough action left in the round to effectively defend yourself. Oh. Well, I don't want to do anything else other than attack again, since I can't do that. Uh, if you want, you can prepare, you can spend 40% preparing your next throw, so it will only take 20% next round. That's what I'm going to do. Does that make sense? Yes. All right. I will prep. Do I have to put that in somewhere on here? Nope, you do not. Okay. So how does movement work then? What percentage of your of your turn is that? It depends on how much you move. Um, next to everyone's name in the combat tracker is a little boot. Mm-hmm. There, well, there's a boot and a and a sword and a and a oh. shield. Uh-huh. So if you click on the boot, um, it will say um, you're at a let's say you're at a walking pace, Nino. So you can move, you can spend the whole round and go walk. 55 feet in 10 seconds around is 10 seconds okay yes but that's my entire that's 100 percent of my turn correct if okay. you change that drop down from a walk to let's say a run that's two times your movement right. you could cover that same amount of distance in only half a round right uh okay. or you let's say you only want to move 10 feet or you whatever so the amount of uh distance that you cover in a round um, mm -hmm. comes off of whatever action is left. So if you want to mm -hmm. run for 50% and then attack something, well, you would be at minus 50 because you spent half the round just getting there. Right. So you might want to run up to them, put everything in full parry for that first round just to get the get there and, and defend yourself, and then next round do your regular kind of attacks that you would want to do. Gotcha. Okay. But then ranged attacks... And melee attacks are they're both sixty percent of your turn. Melee attacks are one hundred percent. Oh, range right. okay. attacks are sixty percent. Gotcha. Wait, wait. <clears throat> Let's see. The bear will advance. Goes to there. The goblin begins wading through the water. Oh, no, sorry. He's at the river bank. The wolves climb up to their legs, climb on their legs, and begin. And nothing's running. Everything is walking. Whatever's going on, they are not in a hurry. He enters the water. And the friendly, friendly... Horde mm -hmm. begins to advance. Oh boy. All right. That is all the NPCs. Nino, you're up. I am up. <clears throat> Sir Morgan, so, you're on deck. I am going to use my melee weapon to fire a little tiny projectile into the bear. I believe you mean your missile weapon? Yes, because that's all I have. Ooh, little tiny, <laughs> tiny projectiles. All right. Okay. Oh. Sounds good. In order to fire at the bear, uh -huh. and I'm giving you this because uh, it's been a thousand years since we played. Mm -hmm. uh, in the combat tracker, um, next to the boot, just on the left of it, is a targeting um, icon. Oh, the you green. You can thing? click on that, and then click on the bear, or you can control click on the bear, um, and that will that will. Uh, target whatever it is that you want to hit um it's next to the boot i've got faction friend or the offense thing my my sword uh go the other way okay go left i'm going left i've got that is only faction oh. sorry there's no targeting I... in our view really i don't see all right it. in that case control click on the bear either in the combat tracker or the icon on the map okay Got there it. you go. Yay. And okay. then to attack, you can either double click the uh, shadow dice on the combat tracker, or you can drag those dice over the icon or drag those dice over the person you want to attack in the combat tracker, whatever floats your boat. Okay. I'm kind of the drag queen, so I'm dragging the dice. <laughs> but oh, bump. oh, boy. What happened? No. Oh. 
that is a complete miss. Your arrow embeds itself in the grass. No. Next to the bear. It, it didn't, though. Um, <clears throat> you have 40% left of your round. Um, can I add what I have left to hit next round? Um, it takes 50% to reload your bow. So you would have 10% left next round to load and then another 60% to fire. Does that make sense? Um, yes. Okay. Okay. Sir Morgan. Uh, I am going to move in front of uh, Nino. Thank uh, you. Because I've got armor and a shield. <laughs> and I'm just going to prepare to defend. He's actually standing on the very edge of that uh, rock. Yeah. So you can get off the rock, but you can't get in front of her uh, without pulling her behind you. And then in which case you probably wouldn't be able to shoot. I don't have anything to shoot. I am a melee guy. I know. So I wasn't planning on shooting anyway. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you can always pick me up and throw me up there. With Nino, <laughs> That's right. To be, uh, you know, a shield. Dwarf tossing. Nino tossing. Nino tossing. Nino tossing. <laughs> like throwing up a, a treat to a dog. Yeah. It's it's like Homer Simpson did with Krusty the Clown. Or no, Krusty did it. They were both clowns being killed by the mob, and they did the whole switcher up thing. Oh, <laughs> That, I've, of the few episodes of The Simpsons I've seen, I saw that one. That's funny. <laughs> that episode was like 20 years ago. More than that. Yes, but 30% uh, of my Tuesday and Thursday meetings at work are discussing uh, Simpsons. Are they looking to hire? <laughs> <laughs> We need a DevOps. <laughs> Something I can't do, but I'll apply. Neither <laughs> <laughs> can the company we hired. Oh, perfect. <laughs> All right, so can I do this? Uh, what is it you want to try? Uh, I would like to kind of shove Nino behind me <laughs> and take her spot. Uh, you can. Uh, you will you will definitely ruin her shot. And uh, if, Nino, if that happens, would you like to resist? Um, nah. Okay. Then um, you can, uh, without making any rolls, I'll just say it's simple enough that uh, you can swap spots. Yeah. Okay. Who is this shiny hero? Okay. That's an excellent Eric. question. Uh, if we assume that that takes, um, you know, I'll say 30% of your round, what would you like to do with the other 70? Uh, prepare to um, defend against that bear. All right. I believe that means our next contestant is Iko. Oh, boy. Oh, boy is Come right. Come on, Iko. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I've got it. Um, how far, like, how can I see the range on a shuriken? Because they're tiny. They are. Um, if you go into your inventory, or actually, mm -hmm. um, in the combat tracker uh, next to your shuriken attack, there's mm -hmm. a small red icon on the left. It's got a little uh, I have that crown. open. Okay, and then scroll down. Mm -hmm. And it looks like... Uh, Is it the range a, modifier? Up to 50, if it's 50 feet away, you're at minus 20, but beyond okay. that, there's no penalty for range. Okay, let's see. So each of these are five? Yep. 10, 20, 30, 45. If you target um, the enemy, it will automatically show the distance to you, I believe. Oh. So see. control click on the bear or whatever it is you want to throw at. It looks like I target him with just click, right? No, it's, it's control click. And when you've targeted him, okay. you'll see in the combat tracker, it will say target bear. There target. you go. You're yep. 50 feet away. Right. So. Wait, where does it say that? 
Is that my arrow that you're looking at, Phil? It's 45, right? Uh, according to the map, it's 50. 5, okay. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Uh, it's a, it's a 50 in it, the middle. I, I think it's uh, rounding. Um, oh. You're actually about 47, but. So it will still give me the negative? It will. Nah. Would you like to move up five feet? Maybe. Because it's a missile attack that takes 60% of your round, that leaves you 40% that you could still run around and move with, and it wouldn't affect your shot. Okay, so I'll go down to the ground. Okay. Which, how do I move? Uh, arrow keys, drag your icon, whatever works for you. Arrow keys. Oh, drag. Yeah, there we go. So now we're 40. So I'll shoot him with the shuriken. So just the dice in the tower or dice in the... Uh, it doesn't have to cattle. be in the tower. Um, you can either double click the dice. Nah. Just like that. Okay. Uh, and actually, hold on, sorry. Uh, the zombie bear is armor type. I really wish I'd put that down somewhere where I could see it. Five points of damage and an A critical. If you double click those two black result roll dice, that will roll your critical. Uh, result roll. Sweet. That's straight up damage, right? <laughs> it is not straight up damage. Yes, it is. <laughs> However, uh, you strike the bear solidly in the snout, and it's very sad. Oh, that's it? But the bear collapses. Oh, -ho! we can hey. kill these guys. Huzzah! The the bear does not uh, snort or whine. Uh, it just falls over and collapses. Okay. Oh, don't, don't and for some it. reason, it did not give me a death marker, which is very sad, but oh well. Oh, I know why. There we go. In the box? I don't know. Okay. Can I go back up on the rock now? I still have uh, a little bit more, right? Yes, you do. Yep, you can climb back up on the rock if you'd like. And how do I know how much I have left of my move? Uh, you moved ten feet closer, so you've got uh, you've got enough to get back up on the rock. If you look but in the combat doesn't... tracker, your base move is if I expand it out, forty-five feet per turn. Mm-hmm. Um. So, um. If you put in uh, a percent action of 60%, oh, you can't even do that anymore. That's percent dumb. is the missile, cool. and then I moved. Uh, okay, you are halfway up the rock. I apologize. Halfway up the rock? What do you mean? Uh, so move yourself five feet closer. Okay. Congratulations. That is your full turn. All right. Thank you. You are welcome. Um, Varla is completely shocked by what's going on and stands around <laughs> watching you because she doesn't know what to do. No. Uh, new round. Everyone roll initiative. Okay. Varla, I'm just imagining her standing there with her mouth wide open. <laughs> That's exactly what she's doing. Jeez. Oh. Huzzah. Oh. What? All right, and oh, I need to. Well, there we go. Yay! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, Kamal, you're up. Nino, you're on deck. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, did the rest of them fall down dead? They do not. No, okay. No. Nope. Uh, that's how close they are. Or are they that they're right where they are on the map? Um, although the only thing that has changed is they are now looking at Ico. Oh, help! 
<laughs> You're telling me this zombie elk is slow as hell. Uh, all it did... Oh, you know what? I probably should have... There you go. Why'd you have to say something? Because I want it closer, because I don't want to have to walk. <laughs> He's a lazy, lazy, lazy axe wielder. I let things come to me, all right? You know right, the... Like his axe. I'm very patient. You're up. What would you like to do? Um, I guess what I'd like to do is see how far this zombie elk is for me. What? Is that a zombie dragon? No, <gasps> dragonette. Dragonette. Ninety feet. It is indeed. <laughs> zombie go zombie goblin thing. <laughs> the elk that's coming closer to you is very much like the bear. Much of its fur has fallen out. Um, it looks sickly and emaciated, but it's got uh, uh, weeds, reeds, and grass caught up in its uh, its rack of antlers, and it is slowly walking towards you. So it doesn't look edible. It is definitely not edible. You can see its ribs, literally. Ugh. So my range being 50, nothing's in my range. Would you like to I hold did... your action until it gets um, into range? I guess. I guess so. I don't really want to cross the water. Uh... No, I mean, so if it's out of range, that means I can't hit it or it just makes it harder. No, the your magical weapon only has a range of fifty feet. All right, all right, fine. Uh, <clears throat> and a weapon like that, you cannot throw through someone. Like, um, Sir uh, Sir Morgan may be blocking your shot sh soon. Mm. Depends on who I'm trying to hit. That's true. <laughs> I already deselected the zombie elk. Sorry, each of these squares is five? Correct. Okay. And we can, yeah, all right. There is a way to measure distance. And let me see if I can do it using the zombie elk so I don't completely screw you guys up. Nope, that's not it. Nope. Nope. Oh, I guess I can do it just by targeting when it's my turn, huh? If you target and then you hold, you hold your uh, mouse over your own icon, it'll tell you the distance. Mm-hmm. You can oh. measure any distance with an arrow by holding down both mouse buttons and dragging. That's oh. what it is. Okay. Oh, okay. Awesome. Thank you. That's Sorry, fine. hadn't haven't done that in a while. <laughs> I have learned something. Yes, we are all relearning. So I would have to go here to hit this. Seems like a bad idea. How do I get rid of it afterwards? I believe you can just double or um. You click it with both both mouse buttons anywhere oh, on the map. There we go. Yeah. Um. All right. Yeah. I'll uh, hold my action for when they are in range. Okay. Uh, I'm relying on you to tell me when that is going to be. Well, when any of them are, I have line of sight on for a throw, and they're within fifty feet, then I'll I'll hit one. Okay. Uh, Nino, you're up. Okay. Um, do I have enough movement to scale Sir Morgan and shoot an arrow from his shoulders? That would not work. <laughs> really? Oh. You, I also thought that was cool. With a bow, you can shoot at the elk if you'd like. Okay. However, it you would be at minus 40 for cover for shooting through between two two people. Wow, minus 40? And if you miss, there's a chance you hit one of them. Oh. Um, is there enough room for me to stand next to Varla? Like if I move um, square below her? No, it looks like on the map that that's a, a down slope, so you'd have to get off the rock. Okay. So, well, I guess, how much movement would it take for me to just, like, hop off the rock? Uh, that's, it looks like five feet. Okay, five feet. Or so, seven feet, seven feet diagonally. 
Okay, so then theoretically I could hop off, shoot, and then climb back up. That's what in I did. Theory. Okay. In theory. <laughs> yes, okay. you can. You've got enough movement to do that. Okay. So okay. I will do this. So you just moved twelve feet. Oh. Not not five feet. Um well is this wait, how's that? Five. So well, I, I guess either that... way, it would be 10 feet because yep. five feet all around me. Yeah, okay. So that's 10 feet. It, but from here, I think I can still hit our friend. La, la, la. Yeah, that's 85. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So this, it's control. Uh, control uh, target. Yeah, you've got the zombie elk targeted. Okay, cool. So I will do this guy. <gasps> your uh rolls are not uh completely amazing i will say my rolls are sucking <laughs> okay. the arrow hits the elk yeah but falls out harmlessly wonderful i'm just gonna take my ineffective ass right back up here <laughs> okay <laughs> the elk thinks that that's the best thing that's ever happened to it however oh god and it goes to there. Hooray! It wants to be friends. It does. I need to make a roll. Ah, uh, shutter roll. I still think it the... would have been much cooler to shoot off of Morgan's shoulders. <laughs> the goblin begins wading into the current, but it can't get any further because the current seems to be um, preventing it doesn't have the strength to fight the current mm. <laughs> and off it goes <laughs> whoa what are those dice oops well it doesn't matter those are the tpk dice <laughs> shush you <laughs> this one forwards on across TPK. without any problems whatsoever oh boy This wolf begins to advance to there. This wolf begins to advance to there. That wolf is going to have to make a roll. Where's Borb with his fireball? Nope. Borb never had a fireball. Yeah, he was too too little. He had an aspiring fireball. Hmm. A matchstick. An aspire ball? <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> I mean, it was right okay. there. <laughs> that low-hanging fruit. Yeah. Oh, pretty much. Oh, I missed one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. The zombie horde continues its advance. Excellent. Mm. All the way down to Ico. Oh, Whoa, the whole map changed. Hold on. Am I allowed to? If I take my turn now, mm -hmm. that I um, <clears throat> yeah, am I changing my whole initiative, or do I just do I still get to? I mean, it won't matter. I'll yeah, I'm gonna take a five foot step forward and. You if, can't. If I... There's no place for you to go forward. There is uh, a, a there's a paladin in your way. No, no, not that forward. Um, this uh. What's it called? The like first West? zombie wolf, the closest zombie wolf mm -hmm. to me is only uh, if I step forward five feet, uh, like north five feet, I'll be 50 feet away from it. Yeah, that's fine. 55. So that's what I want to do. I want to step here. Okay. And we then... will essentially say that you've gone to the bottom of the rock if that's all right. That's fine. And I'll throw my polex. All right. Feel free to target him up and give me a roll. I think I already had him targeted. Hold on a second. Maybe I've untargeted now, now that I reclicked on him. Yeah, he's targeted. Perfect. All right. Roll, you say. You guys need to re learn how to roll like Thank Kamau you. does. 
Damn. 23 points of damage and a depuncture critical. Could you roll me a critical, please? Oh, yeah. The axe sails through the air, just like last time. Damn. Damn. All right. Well, I'm going to go find the cat. I'll leave you here. <laughs> Strike to the back of the head. He has no helm. He's dead. He died. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's twice though. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, well That's true. That that is true. He doesn't want to make it a helm hound. (laughs) No one did you have a day off today or something? (laughs) (laughs) That just hurts me so bad. So good. Come Um, on. (laughs) Iko, <laughs> you are up. Okay, first, where's the settings tab? Uh, the cog in the right-hand uh, tools menu. Okay, that's where I am, but I can't find the map thing that you were talking about. Oh, just found it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I want to shoot the deer. So if I climb off the rock, let's see, what is a diagonal? Is that five feet also? Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Five, ten, seven. Would one of you like to catch Matt up on what he's missed? I mean, Varla? Varla. Oh, okay. So I look up at Varla and I notice that, you know, her mouth is no longer agape and she seems to be focused on some of the. You, for this whole time, you've been standing up on the rock, just completely shocked at all of the, the undead that have. Um, been raised um so <laughs> so we started attacking the bear um ranged from the rock and as soon as the bear took one hit um all of the pustule filled undead started to mm. rise up and come at us so the bear is now dead and we um we Kamau just killed one of the wolves right yep and um i keep missing my shots and <laughs> Uh oh. Yeah, Uh-oh. I'm I'm rolling terribly, and that is basically where we're at. Did you really roll a four? I did <gasps> not roll that. I didn't. That it was like a four. Me. Oh, here, let me roll it now. You Why? Know, <laughs> uh, that is a fumble. I know. Yep, yeah. fumbles on a four. Just hit punch. <laughs> All right. Um Iko, could you give me a straight nope. D100 roll please? Oh boy. D100. Yep. <gasps> wow, why are I, you rolling so low? Well, in this case you want low because high okay. is high is worse than that. So okay. that, that's okay. Um a weapon fumble. Oh boy. I like that. 49. Little... You fumble your weapon after losing your grip. You are stunned for three rounds. Oh no. Oh, okay. So not that is not rounds. the end of the world. Hold on. Do I still have um like room for a spell? Nope. You are stunned for three rounds. No, no. I have an unstunned spell though. Uh, On you myself. do. Yes, you do. You could instant because it's an instantaneous spell. You could use the remainder of your turn to cast that and remove uh, one round of stun. One round. Oh wow! So I'm going to put an effect on you of stun. Change okay, that. Okay. How do I do that? Just hit the spell dice. There you go. Okay. Um. Body go. Manual. Uh, so open up your um, to open up your character. Go to the spells tab on your character. Got them there. Body and renewal. There are shadow dice um, next to body renewal. Okay. Uh, what level of the spell is the spell that you want to cast? It's level three. Uh, so it's your level or below, correct? Yes. So the spell will only fail on a zero one or a zero two. 
So roll an open-ended D100 and hope that you do not get a zero one or a zero two. Do I just do the shadow dice on the body renewal? Yep. Okay. Yeah. It goes off and you're stunned. Instead of being stunned three rounds, you're stunned two rounds. Okay. For those of you who are not familiar with the Rollmaster magic system, the only spell that you can cast when you are stunned is stun relief. And Iko, coincidentally, has it. So. Well, that was lucky. Yeah, that actually worked out exceptionally well. Yeah. Hey, nobody gets stunned except Iko. <laughs> and... All right, cover me. <laughs> Yeah, I got this. <laughs> they All can right. only move 30 from what I've seen, so I don't think he's going to be up to me. Oop, what's this? Just so you know what combat results mean, this is what stun means. Okay. Target may not attack, can only parry. And if you want to look at this later, attack. it's also in World Builder, so you can find it on your own. Okay. That brings us up to Sir Morgan and Varla. You're on deck. Right, right, right. Uh, I guess I'm going to try covering Ico, moving down this rock, moving down okay. there. Uh, do I want to try running it is the question. Uh, this is not slippery mud, so you should be fine. There will be no okay. roll involved unless you want to go times three or better. Times two is fine. Okay. All right, so I am going to move. Here. So 25 oh, feet, all right. I, I see what happened. No, 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 no. I thought I was... Oh, there we are. Get rid of you. I actually thought I was moving. I was clicking on my counter that was still there. Okay, right. so in the combat tracker, uh, and I apologize, everyone, if I'm walking everybody through this stuff, but again, this is all new to everybody, or it's been a while. Yep. Under the, uh, there's a, uh, one of the headings is DIST for distance. Yep. You can put in 20, because you move 20 feet. Yep. And that that will tell you how much of your remaining action you have left for the round. 20%. Uh, 5, 10, 15. Oh, sorry, that's, that's how much... Uh, you have used. I apologize. You've got eighty percent. So yes. So if um, you if you choose to um, if you were to fight this round, you would be mm -hmm. fighting at minus twenty because you used twenty percent of your round. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. And it is thirty five feet away. Pretty sure I can't use my spell. One spell left. Uh, area of effect 10 foot R, range 10 per level. What level? What level are you? Uh, I... Level 3, so that's 30 feet. So I could use Detect Undead to see if these are, in fact, undead. Ooh. Sweet. Uh, yeah. yeah. I would like to do that. Does the, um... Does the spell have an asterisk, asterisk next to it, meaning it's an instantaneous spell? No. If it doesn't have an asterisk, then you can prep the spell this round, which costs 80% of your round, or 90% of your round, sorry. You will prep again next round for another 90%, and then cast on the third round at 75%. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Now, as you go up in levels you'll lose all of those preparation rounds because you become much more, much, much faster at casting and praying. But at low levels, it takes a while to get your spells off. Um, so that might not be a combat spell. Yeah, okay. Not going to do that then. Fair enough. It was a good idea, out. though. Yep. Yeah. Do it once Kamau has arm wrestled it to the ground and is holding it in place for you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anything right, else? I'm just going to prepare for uh, it to come to me. Okay. Varla, 
You're you are finally awake. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nino. Yeah. <laughs> okay end of round two everyone roll initiative okay Uh, that initiative is great. <laughs> oh, I am. oh, we can't all be fast like Kamau is. It's all that armor. <laughs> it, is, it is. That's right. It doesn't just keep him safe. No. It makes him. It's sturdy. <laughs> uh, Varla, lead the charge with uh, Nino on deck. You guys switched. I <laughs> know. Yes. Sure. Okay, fair enough. Are you casting this round or? Okay, got it. Uh, in that case, Nino, you're up. Kamal, you're on deck. Mm -hmm. Um, Would I be able to, well, I probably have to roll to do this, but I kind of want to jump to the next rock and then shoot the elk from there. Uh, five, ten. That's a fifteen foot standing broad jump. Yes. Do you think you can do that? <laughs> Potentially. I'm very, I'm very. Are you that kind of broad? I'm very <laughs> agile and quick. <laughs> and my twitch um, muscles are incredibly strong. Well, that's pretty good. Um, do you have any kind of a jumping bonus or a jumping skill, rather? And if so, you should click on the jumping. Uh, skill icon and see and what the Nino. distance penalty will be. Okay. Um, does acrobatics count for anything? Uh, not in this case, no. Okay. Oh. Damn. I would have said yes. I know. It's like it's like I think we're playing D and D or something. I know. <laughs> you can, however, just run across. Fine. Okay, yeah. I'll do that. Really? Isn't that climbing yep. as well? Uh, not on these rocks. They're not steep. Oh, okay, cool. Then I'll I haven't been making anybody um, uh, make any kind of rolls for getting up and down them. I'm assuming there's plenty of handholds and okay. and they're old and not slippery and not it's the middle of summer, so yeah, no, they're they're easy enough to climb up. Oh, thank you, Almighty GM. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Don't say I didn't do anything for you as you die. I, I didn't. Okay, wait, what? Uh, the right. other thing I will uh, mention is your pointer is for pointing due north. My pointer so, is? Oh, yep. okay. It's, uh, what is it, shift and mouse button to rotate it? Is it? Let yeah. Whoa. Shift and mouse button. That's moving the entire map. A scroller. Shift Control. and scroll button. Yeah. Oh, rad. Scroll is hey, size. Okay. Is Thank you. Pointer. Okay. All right. So, so uh, you moved how far? I moved, let's see here, seven, one, two. Looks like three, 20 feet. 20, yeah, about 22 feet. All right, so under distance, put in uh, 22. Okay. Um, distance. Fast. Oh, here. That uh, took 40% of your action since a missile weapon is 60%. 60. <laughs> um, okay. So I can ready my shot for the next round then. Correct. Okay. 
I will do that. All right. Kamau, you are up. I go your right, All right. I guess um, that. Uh, yeah. Oh, for experience purposes, by the way, um, guy with axe who's been doing all the slaughtering so far, make sure you're writing down the criticals because the different criticals are worth different amounts. Oh. Okay, so the first one was called a critical, a crit A or something? Yep. And You and can scroll up and see the results. Was, okay, crit D was the second one. I think it was an E, actually. I could e. be wrong, though. Crit. So You can scroll up to... and look at it. You, e is better than to... D? We'll just say E. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> A is the uh, is the weakest. E is the most dangerous. I will take five foot step over here. Okay, you I slide off the rock. That's okay. I was ready for that. It was intentional. And I will guess. I guess I have to put five in the distance, right? You do. And then I will throw. Yeah, I'll attack the the other zombie wolf seven or whatever there. You're just maxing out that distance, aren't you? Listen. <laughs> you're absolutely right. Uh, and I will... Yeah, there we go. Oh, I think Kamau's learning lessons from all of you guys. Oh. <laughs> uh, it grazes him, but not enough to even do any damage. Fortunately... What? Oh, and um, just because he wasn't here, describe for Varla what uh, she's seeing. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I throw my uh, my long pole axe uh, head over heel or uh, head over tail, and it whips around and hits, uh, grazes the wolf, and then flies back into my hand, fifty feet. <laughs> 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 you miss the cool one when you hit the bear. <laughs> uh, I think the wolf, the the destruction of the wolf's head was arguably cooler. Yeah, that's true. That's true. The bear crit was just, uh, you know, the <laughs> initial shock of it all. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Varla was here. She was just too stunned to say anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why. That's true. <clears throat> <laughs> Iko, you're up. Okay, I want to um, cast D stun again. Okay, roll an open ended oh. roll and don't roll a one or a two. If you do, everyone will tease you. Jeez, 15. Excellent. <laughs> Minimum effort required. <laughs> yep. Okay, um, in the combat tracker next to the boot and sword and shield, the last one yeah. on the right is called effect. If okay. you open that up, you can delete the the stun effect. Yay. Delete it completely, right? Because after this round, I'm okay. Correct. Okay. Alrighty. Done. Well, <laughs> no, it's still there. Huh? It's still there. Did you unstun yourself? Uh, oh, yeah. There yeah. you go. Yay. An instantaneous spell takes 10% of your round. You have 90% left to play with. Um, Am I stunned right now? No, nope. you've removed your stun with your spell. Okay. Um, Sir Morgan has moved to defend you valiantly, courageously. 90%. I'm gonna... You may just think he's in your way. Nah. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to toss a shuriken at the, at the deer or the elk. Let me find my thingy. You okay. will be throwing through Sir Morgan or potentially hitting Sir Morgan. No, You'll I'm be on his my... right-hand side. Because I'm on people, his right hand side. The arrow goes through his token. Oh, jeez, here we go. There, better. Perfect. <laughs> the deer now, is no. The elk is no longer going to get the cover bonus from brave, brave Sir Morgan. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, Sir Morgan, watch this. <laughs> this is what I, I meant to do last time. <laughs> Nice. Wowza. Well, 10 points of damage and an A puncture critical. Ooh. So 
So you've definitely hit it. Could you roll a result roll, please, for the critical? I sure can. Big what money. Thirty-six. Thirty-six. Yeah. You do one more point of damage, and oh. the the elk appears confused uh, by what's happened to it, but it continues to stare at you. It will not advance next round. Oh, so, kitty meme. Um, so when you roll, okay, when she rolled her critical thingy, the thirty six, mm -hmm. um, for the amount of damage that she does, you you take that off a table based on how high her roll is, yeah. Correct. Okay. When, so when she rolls, actually... a critical table comes up. Right. Um, and then that gets automatically applied mm. to the target that she has targeted. Okay. What's the highest amount of damage that you can do on that table? Um, Varla, would you like to describe it? <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Okay. Mm hmm Oh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> and it, it, it doesn't matter if it's a demon prince, right, or a dog. Oh, okay. So everything is vulnerable, but so are you. Yeah. Oh, damn. Okay, so I need to increase my crit. Okay, hang on. I'm, I'm writing this stuff down. Thank you. <laughs> Sir Morgan. Yar. Um... There's no combat like a combat where Sir Morgan slips and falls in the mud. What would you like to do? No, no, I know, right? <laughs> charge. <laughs> I am considering charging, but like if I charge, then I'm in the way again of a <laughs> decent streak and hit. Or I could just wait here and let it come to me and uh, be fresh as a daisy. <laughs> You're true. not wrong. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold here and wait for them to come to me and then hit them. Okay. Um, I actually forgot to move the NPCs last turn. I don't know why I, for I missed it, but I didn't. So I'm yeah. going to move up everybody okay. but the elk. Oh, I have those creatures. Uh, actually, he's going to go to there. They're all, they're all where they should be. Mm -hmm. if, you think? You moved it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think that I, I did. I did the wolves move? Yes. <laughs> oh, of course they did. <laughs> now the river is uh, just as difficult. Um... I don't think you moved Wolf Seven and Wolf uh, Six. Uh, I have not yet. No. Okay. Good. Oh, thank you. Bring them. Bring them on. And there's like you're seeing. This is a crush one. I take it that wolf slipped and is now being dragged by the water? Yes, that wolf uh, disappeared under the water. As did that wolf. Aren't they going the wrong way under the water? No, the current is flowing from left to right. Oh. So I wonder where they're ending up. But don't worry, they'll end up in town. What's the worst that could happen? I think so. Well, I'm not overly thrilled with those people in that village. So, I mean, if they all die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Obviously, wow. except for Elise and her family. Elise, that's her name. Sorry about that. All right, that's the end of the round. Uh, everyone roll for initiative. Oh, these are these are so detailed. Okay.
Very apropos. That's fine. Um, you have not prepped an extra round. That's the fun of, uh, of, uh, holding an action, the risk. But the good news is Varla is going to lead us off with Kamau on deck. Varla. The toxic oh. In that case, the zombies are going to go first. No. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Um. Uh, did your initiative not come in? Yeah, it says Weird. we're in two at the bottom, too. It, it does. Uh, all right, everybody re-roll your initiative. Sorry about that. Okay. What? 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 Ugh, terrible. Ugh. I got the same number. I got one <laughs> that lower. That makes one of us. Oh, thank God, right? It's destiny. All right. Uh, like I said, I had an 11. Jeez. There we go. <laughs> All right. So, um, Varla, once again, you are leading us off. With the zombie elk on deck. <laughs> okay. That's okay. I'm just updating the zombies. Um, typically, NPCs all get their own initiatives, but in this case, all of these things get the exact same initiative. Mm -hmm. I thought it was the bear, but the bear is dead. Yeah. All right. Uh, it's it's going to be the dragon. Yeah, I'm guessing it's somebody in the back. What, the dragon? Which one, the dragon? I know. <laughs> it's pretty cute. It's not a dragon. It's a dragonette. It's only about two feet tall. Can we keep it? <laughs> it's um, it's an orangey gold color, but its skin looks like it's cracked like an eggshell with white, raisiny-like growths growing through the cracks. Ew. Do those oh, everybody everybody has white pustules, but he has raisiny pustules? They're all raisiny. They're all raisiny. Yeah. Okay. All right. Can they move? Um, the two of the wolves and the dragonette seem to be caught in the current and they are sailing away so far. Uh -oh. oh, I mean the pustules. What what about them? Like, do they vibrate and move independently or are they just No, they um they They're look parasite. They're about the size of your pinky fingernail. Uh -huh. But in some places, they've grown together so tightly, they almost look like some kind of grayscale. Ew! <laughs> God! <laughs> <laughs> it's like a tick infestation. <laughs> <laughs> Kamal, you're up. Uh, oh. oh, boy. Okay, well, I guess this, uh... The wolf in the river is underwater. You cannot see it, by the way. That's not the one I was going to hit anyways, but thank you for telling me. That's the one right there. And I'll attack. Uh-huh. Ten points and an A puncture critical. Oh my god! I will roll my critical. I mean, he's not doing a lot of damage, but he's getting criticals, and that's what matters. Mm -hmm. What do you get? What do you get? An eighty-five. You have struck the wolf in the leg. Uh, it's taking 
it would be bleeding at two hits per round, and it's at minus 10 to all actions. It's actually, uh, these don't take bleeding damage. Um, but it is still walking. It still has its leg. It is crippled, however. I have uh, you, and you still have 40% of your action left as the your mighty pole axe sails back into your hand like Thor's hammer. What would you like to do with the other 40%? Um, it moved about 30. I'm going to back up onto the rock up here. Yeah, so I'll move 10. Oh. Um, it was 20% I had less left? Uh, 40%. 40, okay. Then I'll use the other 30 to, like, prep my next attack. Uh, sounds good. All right. All right. Is there somewhere I have to enter that 30 as prep? No, you just remember it from round to round. Okay. All right, so now... Why has this icon gotten so bloody big? <laughs> Sorry about that. I was wondering. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Thought we, thought we found their leader. <laughs> you know, you would hope so. Oh yeah. What? Oh you know. yeah. Oh, okay. That wolf uh walks very easily out of the water. No, it doesn't. The elk was crippled. Not on its hind legs, no. <laughs> okay, now I've got some rolls to make for these poor other zombies. Zombie thingies that... Nope. Did the crippling not slow the elk down? No. It did. It, it stunned him one, one round. But he only has a wound, right? Yeah, he's wounded. He's not... Uh... Oh, he's I not... thought uh, Camus hit the elk. He crippled him. I think he crippled the wolf, right? Wolf, yeah, yeah the wolf. Yeah. And come out. Oh, I see. I'm, I'm just looking at the uh, uh, the thing. The thing. It says you had the zombie elk targeted. Oh, what? Not the, not the combat tracker, but the... The map? Yeah, yeah that's weird. Oh. oh. Chat oh, yeah. Chat window. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, it's, he's, got the zombie, he's got the zombie wolf uh, targeted. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's what confused me. All right, the uh, the uh, elk um, wolf. the one of the goblins and a wolf have inadvertently formed a line, and they're all stalking towards you. The elk lowers his antlers, uh, but is not charging; it's still walking. There is a human and another goblin-like creature behind them. A deer has emerged from the river behind that and to the left of the lovely Varla uh, a wolf is fighting the current trying to get across the river the two wolves on the far end have been caught by the current and they're getting pulled out and everyone's favorite zombie dragonette has barely managed to get onto the sand of the far end of the river of the creek and will start advancing as well can I ask Nina, a you're up. Yes. For adrenal strength again, um, mm -hmm. that you use I, that has to be prepared the round before. Correct. Uh, it's like a baseball player walking up to the plate. He takes a moment to center himself so that he can make a big swing when the pitch comes. You take twenty percent action um, in one round to prep for it, and then the next round you make the roll for the skill. And I use that with my um what am throwing I your axe yeah so you can throw your axe for 60 percent prep for 20 percent that's still only 80 percent and then next round you would make an adrenal strength roll if you're successful i think you'd get plus 10 to your swing and you would do double concussion damage okay but that's not for throwing that would that would be any attack, throwing, any attack. swinging, swinging a okay. sword. Then since um, I had forty percent, I'm gonna use the. Can I do the adrenal strength instead? 
Yeah, absolutely. It's what any amount of action you want, it just cannot exceed 100%. Yeah, so I'll do, I'll do that. I roll for it now. You roll for it on the turn it goes off. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Uh, Sorry and that. Nino, you're up. Iko, you're on deck. Okay. Um, I'm going to, I, so I spent the last round prepping, right? Correct. Yep. So I'm going to fire an arrow into our elk friend. Because you're elevated and above, you, you can see the field of battle as you need to, you're mm -hmm. not going to suffer any cover penalties from where you are. Woohoo! Well okay. done. So, just like the point out that according to my view on the combat tracker, that elk has all of the effects that should have been on the wolf. Oh, does it? It mm -hmm. does. Well, that's oh, just yeah. rude. Maybe the wolf identifies as an elk. <laughs> all right, so let me it's put that to zero. The chat window shows the attack was against wolves, and then all the damage went against elk. Yeah, yeah. that's weird. I, that is weird. Being as a programmer, that's an incredibly weird. I'm gonna leave that uh, the effect there, uh, but the damage was actually enough to destroy the wolf. Oh, cool! Yay! Yay. Yeah. I'm just cleaning up out there. <clears throat> Sweet. Apparently. Let me know when you're ready for me to roll. All right. So I'm going to remove that effect then. Okay. All right. Take it away, Nino. <gasps> mm -hmm. I hit something. Like you I did. meant it. Solid hit. But it doesn't do any damage. <laughs> the arrow strikes it solidly, but falls out. Really? Yep. Hmm. You need to see what you need to do is you need to roll better. Seriously? <laughs> Apparently so. Yes. Different, or I need to use a different weapon. So it's not like a magic weapon type deal. It's because I actually need to roll better. Yeah, your offensive bonus with your short bow is 35. Right. And um, arrows are especially effective against um, soft leather, uh, chain mm -hmm. mail, um, very reduced against plate mail, mm -hmm. uh, very effective against people in no armor. But for whatever reason, um, this thing seems to not be suffering damage from it's your, totally uh, your right. arrows. And it's just because you're not rolling well enough. Gotta be more reliable. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm I'm busy. Uh, I gotta go. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh I, I know what it is. Is. what it is. What? Here we go. Oh, I God. signed to you. I signed to you. It's Your hands are full. You can't sign. What do you mean? Oh, it was flying. Face. My my axe was flying back through the air, and I signed while it was flying. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Just so casually. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'll sign on my next. Okay, so I still, off. I still have a percentage of my... You still have 30%. Up. Okay, which means I can move... Uh, up to 30%? 15, yeah, so like 15 feet, right? 30% uh, of 55, we'll call that 15 feet. Okay. Um, I'm going to... Yeah, I think I need to do something different. I'm going to move down here. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna move back there too. So brave. <laughs> what? <laughs> Iko, you're up. Sir Morgan, you're on deck. Okay, I've got questions. If I want to pull out my quarter staff, how many? Uh, moves? You, how you much have your that? quarter staff in your hand. It does not fit in a pocket. I was gonna say, where the hell were you hiding it? Where you I don't know. I had a strap holster thing on my back or something. Telescoping polar. <laughs> oh, okay, Goku. <laughs> well then if i have that um okay let's see i do want to prep for adrenal speed okay so that's 20 percent of your round that leaves you with 80 percent okay i want to if i want to hit him i have to move 10 feet right uh looks like 10 feet yep but his antlers are towards me correct correct oh oops, sorry i'm Ah. 
Hmm. All right, how can I get him on the side? I can't get him on the side, can I? You can move to the side of him. There's nothing blocking you. If I'm diagonal from him, like right here? You would still be in his front. You would have to be one more square there. Okay, so right here. Square. Correct. Are my, is my movement being um, tracked in the combat tracker? Um, well, you were I right don't... next to Sir Morgan, so you moved right. uh, 12 feet. feet. 12 feet? Where, do, where does that show? On the combat tracker, uh, change the distance to from it right now sitting at 10. Change that okay. to 12. 12. So that's it took 26% of your move to walk there. Okay, I see that now. All right, so then I want to... So that's 26%. You, you've used... 20% to prepare for an adrenal speed next round. That's 46%. That leaves you with 54% to attack with. So you're at minus 54 to attack, but you get a flank bonus to hit. Oh, great. Okay. Oh, left. Okay. Um, I want to do a martial arts sweep three. Okay. So I'm just going to roll that, right? Before you do that, um, in the top right-hand corner of the menu, there is a plus-minus uh, button called Modifiers. Where? It's right below the Combat Tracker in the gray menu on the right. Gray menu on the right. Yeah. Uh, all the way on the right-hand side of your screen. There's a uh, um, I'm not seeing there's it. Library, Player, Campaign, lots of buttons okay. in that area. Okay. Um, second, second Got it. modifier. Down, um, okay, so what do I do there? Flank. Click on, click on the flank button. That'll give you a flank bonus for the hitting this thing. Okay. And then do I? What's this? And kind then of stuff? you have him uh, targeted. So now you just roll your dice and try and do a sweep on him. Actually, I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm gonna do three. Rank three. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay here I go. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. This is not the easiest uh, opponent to try and sweep. Its legs are long and steady. Damn you, help. Not anymore. Come on. <laughs> Come out. Damn. Come out. <laughs> Wait, wait, can I move at all? Uh, that is... No, I think you've used all of your turn. You just gotta find I the sweet gonna... spot. I uh, know, right? Uh, <laughs> okay, I'll stay. Sir Morgan, you're up. Uh, all right. Um, I think I might move directly in front of it. Which one? It. Uh, the elk. Okay. Move up five five feet or ten feet. Yep, you're there. All right, so that's five or ten. Um, I think that's it was five. five. I'm gonna call it five. All right, and then. Uh, so well, because you've used ten percent action to get there, you're at minus ten to your attack. So in the little modifier in the bottom left below the chat window, you can put minus ten. All right. Let's mess this thing up. Ooh. Oh, somebody, yes. Good. Somebody's just trying to show off now. That's what it is. Oh. Good. I, just... uh, I got the elemental uh, wind dice. However, they didn't show up when I dragged from the combat tracker. That's slightly saddening. Aww. All right. So uh, what do I do now? Sorry, um, I accidentally closed the window when I clicked on it. I had to bring it back up. GM so died. 30 points of damage and an E slash critical. So Ooh. on the far right, there are two black dice called result roll. This will be the result of your critical. Roll a 100. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. oh I like I'm this. Uh, Solid hit to the shoulder. He takes extra damage. He's stunned. 
And at minus 20, you had plus 10 to your next swing against any opponent. You this could it. be okay. a spell. This could be a sword attack, whatever you want it to be. Um, and that is enough that the elk collapses <gasps> with not even a groan or a whimper. It just collapses. You know, you keep emphasizing that there's no drama to their deaths. There is no drama to their death whatsoever. It no. falls down and lays on its side. It just lays on its side. Okay. Yep. It falls over like a sack of wheat. So is the bear still up there laying on its side? It is. Okay. I feel mm. like these guys are going to... Yeah. End of the round. Everybody roll initiatives. I'm not liking it. Should this. we go after that dragonette? Yeah. I was kind of thinking that too. Damn, what is initiative? Eleven. Oh, who's got the toxic dice? <laughs> All of us. <laughs> Brian, <laughs> you rolled a one, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's because you hit so hard. Seriously. That's right. <laughs> uh, the drawback to me hitting so hard is I do have to be right up close to it. <laughs> That's true. It looks like the uh, the zombies will go first. Oh, great. Damn. Um, oh. You can't walk over the deer. All right. Well, you already set a precedent. We got to run a roll again. All right. Everyone re-roll your initiatives. <laughs> I do not mind re-rolling my initiative this time. Oh, yeah. No. That's true. My my uh, flat rule is if you roll a dice and you don't have a modifier clicked or you targeted the wrong thing or whatever, it's a complete re-roll. I don't want any of this, but I rolled really high. Nope. Sorry. Better or worse? I got better. Happy. Yay. All right. I'm not laughing in, this time. In a, <laughs> in a shocking twist of events, Varla, you're up. Kamal, you're on deck. You are a very <laughs> trusting druid. <laughs> the dragonette. Eighty. You do not. Eighty. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> That probably does not hit it. No. <laughs> okay. One whole PowerPoint. <laughs> Kamal. Uh should I close? Hmm. From your vantage point, uh, much like Nino, uh, you can see everything in front of you. You're not taking any cover penalties when you attack from where you are. Perfect. So I should stay exactly where I am. I'm used to being at the front of the fight. It's so weird being back here. Mm -hmm. But uh, this fancy new weapon... Yeah. Creates all these new possibilities, so I gotta think about that. Alright, I guess I'm gonna attack one of these wolves, maybe. I don't know. Uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably the wolf. <laughs> Alright. 45 feet away. Very nice. Yeah. 
Uh, so first, I gotta roll my um, my adrenal strength, I believe. Correct. So go to your skills tab. You need a one hundred and one to succeed. Very nice. All right. So you're um, you're gonna get plus ten to your attack. So put uh, a ten in the modifier box or modifier thing in the bottom left corner of the screen. Uh, perfect. And then okay. make your mighty attack, and you will do double concussion damage um, when you hit. Critical damage isn't doubled, only... Holy moly. That's a fairly sizable hit. That is all right. Uh, and it's saying that there's nobody targeted for some reason, even though there is. Because it thinks that it's the elk, but the elk's already dead. That's all right. weird. Uh, yeah, it is. That's some kind of awesome programming that they gave us. I can tell you that you do 30 points of damage and an E slash critical. Ooh. So Sweet. if you could roll a, uh, a D100 or the uh, I, re the result roll would be better. Yep. The result roll it will be. How many critical? <clears throat> 61. Uh, you strike what it was the wolf, uh, yes. So it's two front um, uh, arms or paws that it's standing on. You hack off both of them. Damn, and the uh, poor zombie wolf falls to the ground dead. Wow, like nice. dead. Or it just fell over with no drama? No, it oh. is dead. Okay. Damn. Wolves are dead. Okay. Well, we've got Wait, there's two things. of them. Did they both leave? Uh, I only deleted one. Okay. I see two missing. Well, yeah, he's killed others. Okay. Uh, and you still have 40% of mm -hmm. your round left. I don't know if Nino is watching, but as the before the uh, pole axe returns, I um... he is not. All right, her back I... is to you. Mm. The angle, Northeast. Yeah, fair enough. I have uh, so that was my attack, and that uh, how much of the uh, percentage does the adrenal strength use? None. You prepped for it last round. It takes right. nowhere, nothing this round. So I just use the sixty percent for the attack. Yeah. Oh, so you, you then... didn't do a thirty es. You did a sixty es. That's even worse. You did sixty points of damage, not thirty. Oh, geez. So it's extra dead. Does it take anybody with it to the afterlife? It does not. <laughs> okay, that's too bad. It's a wolf, uh, so it's technically a a dog. If it was a cat, you know, you'd have to kill it six more times. <laughs> yeah, I move up. Here, I guess. The goblin with no eyes. Got it. How much? Uh, how much movement is? Uh, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So then I have ten percent left. Um, put in um thirty in the combat tracker. In distance, that's fifty percent. So I couldn't move thirty. Uh, well, you're at a walk speed. If you want to cut that in half, you can increase your pace up to a run without any kind of uh maneuver roll required. Okay, we'll do that then. Uh, where do I have to have to enter that? The pace is a drop-down menu in the combat tracker. Mm -hmm. Right now it says times one walk. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, there we go. You can crawl. You can. That's the speed that you go if you're swimming or climbing. Gotcha. Oh, what if I what if I sprinted? How does that change everything? Um, then you would have to make a maneuver roll to not slide off the rock and trip on the grass. Let's not. <laughs> Run it is! <laughs> I'll use the other 10% for prep. Is that 10%? No, 15% for prep. It's 20% for, for, for prep. Never mind. I have 20% left, you're saying? Or I, yeah. I have to have 20% in order to prep. 
you have to have 20% in order to, or you can do, you know, 10% prep now and 10% next round. That's fine too. But it has to total 20% uh, to activate this skill. I will do that then. I will do 10% prep now for adrenal strength. Okay. And I'll do the other 10% later. Thank you. Oh. And I didn't change all my all my dead people to being 14 initiatives. I oh, wait, I can't do it two in a row, you said. I can't do it two, two turns in a row? Correct. Uh, then I can't do that. So I'll just sit pretty. Okay. Um, Nino, you're up. Okay. So I've got all my friendos in front of me here. So I'm going to hop back up on this rock so I can get a better vantage point. Okay. And I'm going to shoot this guy. I'm assuming that I can since I've got a higher vantage point. I will give you, yeah, you will not take any cover penalties at all. Okay. You're in the perfect position. Okay. Um, then I will try to hit him. Hang on. Let me look at. Hmm. Yeah, there's really nothing that I could add to this to increase my chances of hitting him, huh? No, your um, your skill with a bow just isn't that high. Yeah. So you just need more practice, also known yeah. as more levels. Or I need to like get in close and use my stabber. Okay. Or that. Or that. Um, I will roll. Here it is. Oh my god. Okay. So on that note, I'm going to get in closer so that I can use my stabber. So I used 65, um, one, two, three, and I'm going to move over here. I don't know why it is, um, it is not giving me results now. It just constantly is telling me that. I think you should uh, bring the deer back to life. <laughs> no. Uh, and just not do anything with it obviously but i just mean to say i bet you that's why it's not giving it to you that is really you know what let me try this um hey nino can you try and attack again sure um let me target and you've untargeted yeah. oh i did okay you removed your target my bad is it up now yep wait yeah you can see what you're targeting in the combat tracker you've got the goblin thing targeted Wait, why am oh I see it, okay. Okay. Now let's see if it's going to resolve. There it goes. Okay. You hit it for eight points of damage. You're letting me take that? I am because um Yes, I am. Best GM ever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a, a solid hit to the arm. He takes eight points of damage. <laughs> All right. The goblins or the, the zombies have decided it's time to attack. Have they now? They have. Uh, goblin thing number. I can't even read that. It's too small. Goblin zombie standing next to Kamau. He raises his little fist. Oops, I just moved you instead of targeting you. I apologize. He raises his little fist and he tries to bring them down upon your head. You call for him. Wouldn't that like hit his knees though? Um, Kamal's kind of tall. Yeah, uh, he tries to pa pound you in the chest, but uh, your incredibly thick armor prevents all damage, sadly. Ooh. Two, three, four, five. <laughs> oh no, now they're gonna stack. Two, you can't three, step four, on the elk. Five. Yep, you can. It is a zombie dragonette. Oops, one more. Come on. 
Don't be lazy. There you go. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, one goblin swung, and the goblin. Oh, and the goblin that's uh, standing in front of Morgan and Iko. Uh, he just walked up. So, okay. Um, next on our list is Sir Morgan. Iko, you're on deck. Alrighty, I am just going to, uh, I think, uh, add this goblin. You will notice the goblin is facing Iko and not you. Oh. You got flanky flank. You do. Flanky flank. So if, if you go up to the, <laughs> if you go up to the modifiers uh, button on the top right, you can click on flank to give yourself a flank bonus. Hmm. I've clicked on it. I don't know if it's given it to me. We'll see. Uh, if it doesn't, I will manually add it myself. All right. So I also have to target this thing. And then uh, make a long sword attack. This is the wrong. Damn. Thing. See, he knows how what's going on here. Oh. And Flank did, uh, it was in there as well. Ooh. Yes, it was. 30 Jeez. points of damage and an E slash critical. Nice. 37. I am like cut, her leg. cut across the leg. It will take two points of damage per round until it dies. Oh. You, you've slashed some kind of a, a deep cut. Uh, however, the damage alone is enough to make this poor goblin zombie expire. Hooray. One hit, one kill. Yeah. Line them up, knock them down. Wow. Iko. That's how it's done. Is this uh, Dragonette really facing the other way? I can backstab him? Uh, no, I think it's facing right at us, to me. Yeah, it's facing us. Oh, so the little yellow arrow in the bottom yeah. left-hand corner, that's the direction he's facing. Yeah, it was facing north. Okay. It was facing so, north. Sorry, oh, that one is not a dragonette. Um, that is a man. A, what? I it, uh, I don't know why it's adopted the. Uh, actually, I do know why it's adopted the name. But nope, that is a human. human. It's a human. Uh, yep, he looks like a traveler of some kind. Uh, he has uh, a an over the shoulder bag uh, over what? his shoulder, but it looks empty. Where? What? This guy right here. The gray guy. Yep, he's a zombie. I think he, you should okay, be he, able to rename him in the combat tracker. It's because what I did was I just cloned the dragonette when I made him. Yeah. And oh. it, it adopted the dragonette name. I apologize. I, I do what you did. <laughs> name him Jim. I've got it. Carl? Hmm. So cool. he is actually a human um, who is also covered in these hard, white, raisin-like <laughs> growth. So you mean to say he was a human? Is, right. was. Semantics. I'm going to hmm. move up to him. Okay. Right there? Yep. Um, my distance is 12, so that's right. Right? And your it is. And introduce yourself. Hi there, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Does you, my you... Um, adrenal speed go off? Uh, you prepped it last round? Yeah. Um, roll your adrenal speed skill, and you have to break one, or you have to get 101 or higher. Ah. All right. Almost. So um, let me think here. So I have 12, and I have how much left? You use 26% movement, so oh, you I'm can attack at minus 26. Why did I have 26% movement? Because you just moved up 12 feet. Okay. All right, so I guess I'm going to just sweep them. Okay. In the modifier, uh, in the bottom left corner of the screen, it looks like a little skull. Put minus 26. In the modifier at the bottom of the screen where the skull is, where is that? 
bottom left corner? Very bottom left corner, right next to the um, table. Underneath the chat window. The little where uh, the white circle is? thing? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay, what am I putting there? Minus 26. Minus 26. There we go. All right, and then is can I use a kata or, at all? or? Yes, you can. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Um, which means I, go ahead. Uh, Akata is another minus 20. It is? It is. Yeah, it is. Okay, so that's 46? Correct. All right, let's try that. And then, okay, so I'm going to do hits double, emmy critical, minus one on weapon table, attack emmy. Okay, so I'm going to hit twice. Um, you attack once, but you do an extra critical and double damage. Okay, so I'm going to do, do I do four or three? I'm going to do four. I know oh. I saw it. I saw it. Sadly, as Man. clumsy as this thing is, you are not able to get a, a good hit at him. <laughs> New round, I initiatives all around. Yeah. And I'm starting to run out of zombies. Oh, darn. <laughs> the ones that didn't specifically die, I think they're just asleep. Brian. <laughs> 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 Six, 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 six. At least it's just and... for initiative. <laughs> That's right. <clears throat> All right. It didn't zero everybody out this time. Mm. Var Varla, you're up. Come out here on deck. No. In this case, because there's three people between you and Zombie Goblin, you would have to go around. Unless you want to push someone out of your way. You can go diagonally that way. That's fine. That's seven. Do, 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 do. <laughs> hey, Varla. <laughs> you have to have it out. It doesn't fit in your pocket. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay. Thirty feet. Okay. Hit him, hit him, hit him. That is the theory. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. That was a good roll. It was a good roll. Just a chance to do even better. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm afraid that uh you had really good intentions going in, but you did zero points of damage. All right. Kamau, you are up. Mm. The goblin thing's already dead. I do. Excuse me. 
all there of is the a ones that we a... haven't hit our lower hit point. That is correct. Okay. Bears generally right. have more hit points than, let's say, dragonettes. No, no, no. I mean, my, these all these guys started at 12 hit points, and now they're at six. Even the ones we haven't hit. See? That's initiative. Is that yeah. Really yeah. Oh, okay. Doesn't see okay. how they go. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what? <laughs> we don't know their health. Yeah. I see. Um. I guess I got to kill the one that's right in front of me. And fortunately, um, Oops. with this pole axe, do I have like the ability to hit multiple people? If it like, if I if I go through somebody. With a swing? Unfortunately, you do not. That sounds like a feat. With this in hand-to-hand -hand combat, though, now that you've swung at them, and Sir Morgan can certainly attest to this, these things have the skill of children. They're very easy to, to handle. Well, that's not fun. <laughs> um, I'll use the other 10% to prep the... Um... The adrenal uh, no, I we were I wasn't doing that. Okay, I'll just attack it. Okay. Stay lovey. Uh, no, you're not throwing, so make sure you're using the, the non thrown attack. Yes. The better. With the worse. With the worse roll? Roll, but the better results. Roll. A good roll. Zero damage. My goodness me. Zero damage. When I said that they are they fight with the skill of children, um apparently his intimidating scowl uh threw you off guard. I apologize. Mm. Nino, you are up. I'm gonna move. I go you're on deck. I'm gonna uh, move over there. Okay. Um, I guess I gotta change my I guess since let's see. I have to do a ranged attack in order to you have your bow in your hand, and you're close enough now. You with the uh, point blank bonus, you might hit. Who knows? There's a bonus for point blank. The closer you are, the easier it is to hit things. With a oh, bow. Can though? I sign to her now? Oh. Yeah, within ten feet, you're at plus ten. Can he sign to me? Um, no, he's holding a pole axe in his hands. Damn it. Okay. All right. Um, I will attempt to hit with my. All weapon. right. And I haven't targeted. Oh my god. I'm afraid that would be another example of a fumble. Good look, really. I'm gonna move too. Um, Can could I... you give me an open-ended or a, a straight D100 roll, please? I mean, I could. What's the worst that could possibly happen? You said low is good, right? Low is good. <laughs> you lose your grip. You elect not to attack because of the lost control. Okay. And you guys just hear... <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, the, air, the arrow does fall to the ground. <laughs> can it, can I move all lined up. you two right here? Uh, yes, you can. Okay. So... In addition to losing an arrow or just dropping it on the ground, I'm going to move right up to um, Carl here. <laughs> okay. And hope he doesn't hit me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Hang on. Uh, how do I switch? Which direct? Oh, it's like this. Yeah. I go. You're up. Oh. Um, I'm going to just do a kata and do a rank three martial arts sweep. Okay, your penalty is minus uh -huh. 20 for the kata. That's it. Okay, alrighty. And how, how do I put that in? On the modifier? On the modifier, you just put minus okay. 20. So every time I need to use that. Okay, here we go. Good gods. Is that worse than my last one? Uh, I hope not. 75 was my last one. Apparently, yes, it is. Oh, okay. No damage. Alrighty. Uh, the zombies. 
the zombie that you just attacked, Iko, really does not appreciate that, and it really wants to hit you back. Mm-hmm. It raises its little fist. Mm. Little fist? <laughs> uh, it's a full-size man. Uh, it raises its fist, and it pounds you on the arm for seven points of damage. Wow. Okay. Rude. I know. And then we have uh, the zombie that's fighting Kamau. It also raises his uh, little fist. And he is... Don't do it. Oh, he... Isn't he sleeping? <laughs> uh, he is not sleeping. He's got insomnia. Holy shit. About to die. Uh, possibly. Oops, I'm sorry. That was the wrong one. Uh, go here. So for all of that damage, uh, he does six points of damage, and he has initiative on you next round. Sorry, uh, he does a 9A critical, a 9A crush. He does 12 points of damage total, and he has initiative on you next round. Initiative on me, which just yes. means he gets... Your initiative will drop to be below his. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, just a glancing enough. blow. Yeah, 12 damage. Where the fuck do I put that in? There it is. Oh, it's already on there automatically. Yep. Oh, dear. Oh dear. Oh dear indeed. <laughs> Copycat. <laughs> Sir Morgan. Uh just just a question though. Did it looks mm -hmm. like in the chat that you did an extra seven to Ico. Extra? Extra. Uh no, I Y'all? misclicked. Oh you missed oh, it. All right. I just want to be sure about it. that. Oh. Sorry about that. You're back up to only seven. <laughs> Thank you for catching that. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Secretly trying to kill Eric. <laughs> I guess so. Uh, so I'm going to move five feet. Okay. Uh, and get a little closer to that uh, zombie goblin. And You are most certainly in its flank again, so you can give yourself the flank bonus. Excellent. Get a little closer. Oh, you dumb thing. <laughs> I knew that was going to be a dead giveaway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to put two and two together. <laughs> We're all pretty close. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, so I, oh, no, i got to remember to subtract. Because yep. I moved. So that's minus 10. Again, if you change your pace to like a jog or a run, that penalty will get reduced because you'll be jogging or running. Right. Uh, what's that? And then uh, that attack. Woo! The man who does not mess around. No kidding. 15 points of damage and a C puncture critical. Can you give me a critical roll, please? Um, he must parry any next round. Uh, he cannot attack. He must only block, and he takes an extra two points of damage. Wee. Not terrible. Not yeah. terrible at all. The reflection of the sun bouncing off your armor is really helping the party. Absolutely. All right. Uh, I think we've probably got one or two more rounds of initiative, and this is going to be over, but everybody roll their initiatives. All right. Wow. Oh, I like those dice. 
Okay. What the hell did that stupid zombie roll? Since I'm going to be behind him. Uh, yes. Uh, let me. Twenty-one. Uh, is that the one that got the twenty-one? Let me help you out with that. Oh. So basically, all of the zombies are going to go before me because I'm behind that zombie. No, it's simultaneous. You'll all go at initiative four. Oh, okay. Unless right. they're dead. Which they could very well be. That would be unfortunate. <laughs> Would it though? Oh, Noah! It, it was a four pun. <laughs> like you might call it, yeah. it foreplay. All right. Um, it looks to me like Varla, you are up. Oh. So you get flank bonuses, huh? Indeed. That's kind of cool. Right. 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 Really? Right. Dude, I'll but if, if an attack takes a hundred percent of your your action, then I like for me, I really can't do anything without moving unless I position myself the round prior, right? Uh, yeah. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh. Okay. Cool. Ah. Mm -hmm. Learning things. Your definition of stupor is, well, that's, that is a very respectable hit. Ooh. Damn. 24 points of damage and an A crush critical. So you're, you're going to roll a zero one. I can't believe you hurt my poor little zombie. <laughs> yes. Um, Yes, it is, right. and that is enough that my poor, poor, there he is. Wait a minute. Where is he? This one. He is sad, but he collapses to the ground. Wow. That was a solid shot to the back, enough to knock whatever wind he had out of him, and he collapses like a sack of wheat. I was just trying to keep his attention so you guys could give him the blows. Yep. <laughs> Oops. Uh, Nino, you're up. Okay. Um, so if I turn, oops, <laughs> I guess this guy is looking northeast. Yeah. Uh, actually, he should be. Oops. Looking directly at Kamau. So you are in now in a rear. Yay. For example, just so you know, like a rear bonus is yep. 55. Okay. Okay. Hey. Um, so my only issue, though, is that I currently have my short bow out. Um, can I use quick draw to get my dagger out without taking um, part of my action and then stab him? Yes, that's exactly the way it works. Dropping an item in your hand is a 0% action. Okay. Um, quick drawing a weapon is 50%. But if you're okay. successful um, drawing your weapon, I believe you take no penalty. I think it's look... 20. I think it's 20. Gosh. Maybe it's 20. Um, but if you fumble, you might like draw your weapon so fast it slips out of your grasp and falls into the grasp. Okay. 
Um, let's see here. Yeah, so there's a wait. This says if if successful, the weapon is out of the scabbard and in hand. Moreover, may make an attack roll same round without the norm without the normal twenty percent activity required. Oh, oh twenty percent to draw a weapon. There you go. Okay, gotcha. So I don't take a penalty. Okay, sweet. So do you want to take a 20% penalty or do you want to try your quick draw and eliminate that 20% penalty? Yep. Let's go for eliminate. All right. Okay, I'm going to roll. Give me a quick draw roll. Uh, oh. Damn. Well, I mean, it was cool in theory. It was cool. <laughs> um, but if I do roll, if I do, oh, wait a second. If I got a minus one, does that mean something goofy happens? I'm just trying to figure out why it's minus one. You've got a skill bonus of oh, ten. You know what? My 16. move activity from my last round is still recorded up here. Yeah, you got to oh, change it every round. That's yeah. why. Yeah. Okay, Mine that's why it doesn't two. look right. Okay. So, um, oh, so the, Marla, you probably should have been hitting things then. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, so in that case, it's just a failure. It's not a fumble. So okay. you take the twenty percent penalty. Okay. So if I take a 20% penalty, does that mean that I can still attack this round, but it knocks 20% off my attack? So yeah, the, you put in the modifier, put minus 20. Okay. But um, you can also give yourself the rear bonus right. from the modifier button. Okay. With the modifier button? Yeah, go up to the modifiers. on. If you want, I can do it for you. Okay. I don't know where it is. In the tools section on the right hand menu. Oh, okay. Okay, I think I added it. If not, I'll manually add it in when the number comes through. Okay. Um, okay, so do I just give you a D100? Uh, first, you have to target him. Right. Of course. Boop. Oops. <laughs> Sorry uh, about that. No problem. Uh, target any of. Uh, Target him. Zombie deer. Okay. Um, and then just my dagger roll. Correct. All righty. And we will do this. Whoops. <laughs> and I, I don't think it gave me the um, flank bonus. It did oh. not. So... I push that up to but an 88. Like 88. You did two, two points of damage. Hooray! I hit something. <laughs> Even with that pitiful roll, you have stabbed it. Hooray! All right. Um, Iko, you're up. Morgan, you're on deck. All right. How do I want to move? Um, if I want to move up to the Dragonette, but I want to be kind of like right here. Can you see me moving? I can. How far is that? Uh, you were here, okay. so it was like twenty. Ten plus. Oops. Uh, call it twenty. All right. And if you change your pace from walk to to a run, you'll cut whatever penalty you just took in half. Oh, all right. Let me put that. Okay. And then you can um, double click that 22 to automatically have it modify your attack so you don't have to type it in. All right. But if I want to do kata, I have to add 20 to that, right? Correct. Gosh. Okay. Why does it have 22? Because your movement is, a, you use 22% of your movement for the round okay. to get there. I don't know why I can't remember that. That's okay. Okay. Probably because I'm feeling a little tired. Okay, so I'm going to do Kata. So I put in 20 there, mm -hmm. and I'm going to do rank three. Okay. okay. What in the? No target selected. Oops. Hooray. <laughs> Control click to target. I'm trying. Didn't work. There you right go. There. Okay. Okay. All right, so put this back in. This little dragonette is only two feet tall. So, what? and it's it's crawling on its four, uh, or on its uh, little legs. Can we just take it home? There we go. Oh. 
Squish. You miss. No, I didn't. <laughs> I think you mean she makes it into mist. <laughs> okay, you did eight points in a D martial arts critical. Can you roll uh, the result roll, please? Yeah, one second. She's the DM now. This is Nakata. Oh, yes. So it's 16 points of damage. Uh, it's stunned for one round. You do four more hits. Uh, so that's 20 points of damage. And I need you to roll another D100 for a crush critical. And it'll be a C crush critical. Just the open D100 in the bottom of the chat? Yeah. And I have to find the 33. Crush. A C33. Oh, I can't just drag this over. That's lame. Um, a solid strike across its back. There is a loud crunch mm. as you break its back and it falls to the ground. Okay. Poor little dragon. <laughs> it's so cute, too. Sorry, Barla. <laughs> Sir Morgan, you're up. All right. I am. Yeah, I'm just going to hit the zombie deer. You've been a one swing, one kill guy so far. Let's see if you can keep it up. Oh, wait a second. Is that actually the zombie deer, though? Or was that the goblin that that's token goblin. accidentally got switched? Uh, we're now going to say it's the last one. Okay. <laughs> I don't think adding one more of these things is going to make much difference. It's not going <laughs> to TPK the group yet. <laughs> Yet. You say that. You say yet. Uh, that's not as good. That is not as good, no. Oh. Uh, okay, I need you to give me... I think that's a fumble on your long sword, is it not? It is. All right, give me a D100 roll. Uh, great that you guys love fumbling your weapons like this. Yeah. I'll fumble for you. <laughs> nice one. Your <laughs> club. <laughs> you have slipped in the mud with Grace, and you lose two rounds worth of opportunities. Good luck, pal. Oh, lovely. So Unfortunately, you have uh, done what you do. Kamau, yeah. uh, you and the final zombie go at the same time. Okay. Would so... you like to go first, or would you like me to go first? No, I'm going to go first, obviously. <laughs> uh, just so I, I know for sure, this is a four-legged creature zombie, or this is a two-legged it's got, creature? It's got four legs. It looks like Bambi, except uh, half of its uh, nose is covered in this gray scale. Uh, much of its fur is missing. All right. And uh, uh, it's got a, a wound on its leg. I'll attack it. All right. It chooses to attack you as well. Oh, boy. It seemed that way. <clears throat> I just feel very rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Marlo. <laughs> 10 points of damage and an A critical. Give me a roll for the critical. Zip. Zip. What is zip? No, that should not have been zip. 35. Uh... I don't know why that didn't resolve, so let me have to manually look that up. It means he died. That does not what it means. <laughs> I just snorted. Oh, boy. <laughs> All 
All right, it takes five more hits, and uh, you have initiative on it next round. Oh, yeah. But not to be outdone, it raises its little legs at you. And it's outdone. And uh, for some reason, it had Marlowe targeted, so let me cancel oh. that. Yeah, go with that. What could go wrong? <laughs> no, no, no. Zombies, they really like attacking you. Yeah, I can imagine. Don't know why, but it does. Boo! Boo! Five points of damage. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, boo. <laughs> what is AU? Undead? Uh, A, unbalancing critical. So it try it's, it's just trying to ram itself into you, and it hits you, but weakly, for an additional... Four points of damage. Oh. Um, you are wounded. All right, we've got one more round, and then it's going down. Uh, give me initiative rolls. I'd okay. very much like to be the one that finishes it. Um, actually, I have another thought now. I really want to get the highest. I don't think that's necessarily going to happen. I like those things. Well, well, we'll see if Varla graciously gives you the opportunity. No, no. How would Varla know? <laughs> oh my God. Very intuitive. <laughs> All right, Kamal, you're up. You're up. Oh. Can I um? Can I use my in? Tuition or whatever, my wisdom, something to. I want to decide um, if the spell that was going to determine whether this these things were undead can be is meaningful after they're dead. I feel uh, like you, if we kill you it, you have no just... idea, and you don't know he was going to cast the spell. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. You make a valid, valid point. I'm going to murder the shit out of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Matt, what did you roll for? <laughs> I love it. It, it, uh, it, it, it ignores you. Oh. That does mean it hurt him, though. Ha, ha, ha. All right, come out. Take your swing. That. Oh. <laughs> We all heard that. It was painful to all of us. <laughs> it refuses to fall under your weapon. Uh, well, shit. A very stubborn deer. Elk. Iko, you're up. Hey. Just in case I'm going to prep for my, um, my, uh, my adrenal strength. Just at the off chance this thing somehow comes out of this alive. <laughs> I, I'm sure it will. I'm, I'm very confident. Oh so how much did I move? Was that 12? Uh, that was 15. 15? Are you sure about that? Uh, no, right. I'm actually not. But I don't have an undo button. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing I always do. All right. And this is at a minus 53. Uh, is your pace still a walk? Oh. You're right. Okay, so then what? 16. Awesome. With an yes, additional minus good. 20 for your kata. Yes. Hmm. No oh, offense, guys, but you guys I need didn't... to... No, no, uh, no I didn't attack collected. him, and I didn't put a flank on him either. Oh, you're going to have to re-roll that, unfortunately. Huh? Unfortunately? Oh, <laughs> darn. <laughs> That was just practice. Yep. That's correct. Yeah. <laughs> Today? What? How come I didn't have another target? You don't have All anything. Right. There you go. Yeah. All right. Let's do this. Plank. It's 33. And roll. Nah. What's up with our rules tonight? I don't know. Mine are all really low. 
Oh, mine uh, has been really bad too. This zombie refuses to. It, it's holding out. It really wants to swing. Your attack does nothing. Nothing. All right. All right. Why does it sound like it's laughing at us? <laughs> okay. Bambi wiggles her tail at you. Look at all three of those rolls. Jeez. <laughs> I know. It's, you guys need to change your dice color. No, I Nino. Do. I've already done it. So if I use, um, let's see here. Can you have your I... dagger in your hand right now. Yes. Is there a penalty for power striking? This skill allows the control versus strength to increase the force of a blow. Um, requires an activity action the round before. Okay. Never mind. I will just straight up stab it. Make sure you give yourself a rear bonus. Okay. Oh, what and on the far right hand side in the menu, the gray menu, mm -hmm. the second button down on the left is modifiers. Uh, wait. Sorry, the wit in tools. Yeah, in in tools, there's a button on the second level on the left called modifiers. It's a plus minus button. Okay. Plus slash minus. Wait, hold on. The menu is not coming up for me. Okay. Sorry. That's okay. You're fine. I must be looking under the wrong tools. <clears throat> Uh, modifiers. Here we go. Okay, so and then click on rear. Rear. Got it. Um, and it, if I just click on it, it carries over to my roll. Yes. Okay, rad. Alrighty, let's do this. Where is my dagger? Here it is. For the glory. Oh my god. <laughs> Why? Why am I sucking so bad? It's not that you yeah. suck. It's that this deer is awesome. <laughs> so can I, at this point, can I still um, use Power Strike for the next round? If you had taken a minus 20 to your attack, okay. yes. Gotcha. Alrighty. Sir Morgan, please kill this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Because otherwise... Um... I'm going to have it attack you. I am going to try and hit it really hard. Oh, wait. I get a flank bonus? Is it rear You flank? do. Uh, you get a flank. Flank is fine. All right. Here it goes. Sweet. Oh. We might have a winner. Twenty nine. Yes, that is good. I need a critical roll, please. But it All says right. he's dead. You still want to roll your critical? Could be more dead. He's going to be extra dead. It's barely extra dead. <laughs> it, he does an extra two hits when he's already chopped off its head. Wow, that's violent. And very sadly, zombie deer collapses. <gasps> Whoosh. Once again, you have smote evil. Yes. Smited? Smote. Smited. I think smited is the word. Smitten? Oh, right. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> it's smitten. The zombie deer is smitten. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> With the last of the zombie horde uh, defeated, the weariness in your bones begins to set in. Oh, you are boy. all very hungry and very tired. Um, you know, all of a sudden, these things are looking pretty delicious. Mm. So neat. Um, can we look at their skin, I guess, up close and see if there's anything that we know about it? Well, before, I mean, before we um, start figuring out what we're going to do next, can I offer heals to people? Because I think there were a few of us who got wounded through this, right? I got dinged. Okay. I got dinged, too. Seven. Ooh. Hmm. Anybody? Uh, no, no one has immediately sprouted um, <laughs> uh, pale, raisiny uh, growths out of their skin, no. Ew. Okay. Not Correct. Yet. <laughs> Not yet. 
I think I can heal concussive damage. Correct. Okay. Um, so how does this work? I think what, what spell I do you wish to cast? I have um healing three, but I think I forget how this works. Like I have a total number of spell points that I can use. Is that right? You do on the front of your character sheet, um, you have a PowerPoint total. Okay. Um, a first level spell uses one PowerPoint, a fifth level spell uses five. Okay. So this is a fourth level spell. Okay. And where would I find my PPs? Oh, here it is, max times one. I've got six PPs. Um, and do you have any kind of, um, I don't remember if your character has any kind of a multiplier or an adder? Ooh. Uh, let me check your character here. Would that show up under power, PowerPoint? It does. In the corner of the PowerPoints is um, no, I don't have a zero. Either. So you do not. Yeah. So yeah, you've got six PowerPoints. You can cast uh, six first level spells or two third level spells or whatever combination of spells you want. Gotcha. Okay. So I can cast two healing one spells and then one healing three. So who who looks the most beat up out of all of us? Anyone? Anyone? I thought you were asking Phil. Nope. Oh, I don't answer sorry. questions like that. <laughs> um, uh, no. Now, Iko, how are you guys feeling? Like, who needs more healing here? I'm like, um, wounded a little bit. Okay. I shrug. So you guys don't need healing? I'm going to heal you anyway. Um, <laughs> I will cast healing three on Kamau. Okay. And let's see here. This is a touch thing. So I just deduct the, the power points. When you cast, they'll automatically get deducted. Okay, cool. Uh, in order to cast um, the spell, you oh. uh, double click on the shadow dice on concussion ways on your spells tab. Okay. And um, yeah. Do -do -do. Success. And if it only fails on a one or a two. Okay. Uh, because you're not casting it quickly or anything. Um, okay. Kamau, well, first of all, Nino, what do they see when you cast a spell? Because I don't think anybody's seen you do this yet. No, they have not. I feel like I must have in the past, but not in the game. Okay. Oh, so yes. I, I kind of close my eyes, and I have, like, an open palm facing out toward my target, and I just sort of, like, raise my palm and touch them. And all of these, like, goldy, glittery lights start bursting forth as soon as my hand makes contact with that person. Now, she's casting a spell on you. Do you wish to resist? Never. <laughs> okay, what does the spell do? Um, how do I determine that? Uh, read read the spell description. <laughs> as healing one, except that the target is healed of 3 to 30 concussion hits. So how do I determine how much healing he actually gets? Do I just roll for that? 3d10, yep. Okay, rad. 3d10. There's my d10. Okay. Oh. Sweet. Really? That's good. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Um, and now I'm going to do healing one for Ico. What percentage of hit of power points have you now used? So out of um, six power points to heal Kamau, I used four. And then okay. I've, I've got two points left. And healing power one. points are like energy. Right. So you now feel drained. Oh. You are at minus 20 to all actions. Serious? When you use more than 25% of your power points, mm. you're at minus 10. When you use more than 50, you're at minus 20. When you use more than 75, you're at minus 30. Damn. That will okay. go away once you regain your power points after you sleep. Okay. I was just going to say, and then I have to rest. But at this point, even if I, oh, it's for any action. Yep. All right. Well, Iko, I hope you're not that hurt. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Anybody else want to take a stab at recovering her points? <laughs> okay. I was like, oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> hey, I have healing as well. It's like you're a value. Oh, I forgot about that. 
You're over there just being shiny. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Bell goes off. Cool. Oh, so you overcast. If you cast a fourth level spell. <laughs> <laughs> One to ten is great. <laughs> Me? Sure. One to ten? Okay. Wait, I just need one ten cider, yeah? Okay. Oh! Hey, that's great. No, that's great. That's most of them. Really? Okay, good. Oh, you only yeah, I had like... seven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's all good. Thank you. Well, we're halfway there. Oh. <laughs> uh, what do they see when you cast your spell? Okay. Very this nice. Is fun. I can heal you. I signed to Nino that uh, I'm only a little hurt. Why don't we all just rest? I can rest it off. Oh, me too. Right. Yep. I only have two. Okay, and then I pass it on to Sir Morgan. I'm like, eh, he thinks he's okay as long as we can get a long rest in soon. All right. It's all good. Iko, to Ow. answer your question, sorry. Mm -hmm. Um, when you look at the bodies, if you want to try and uh, ascertain more about what's afflicted them. Do you have any kind of a diagnostic skill or first aid? I think so. I have... Diagnostics would be the skill to use, but you can also use first aid at minus 20. Jeez. Yeah, I think I had first aid, and it's a plus 40 to first aid. Okay, you're using this in the form of a lore skill, so um, make a first aid check, but put it in the tower, please. Okay. <clears throat> Wait, am I putting a minus 20 to modifier? You are. Okay, here we go. First because this is not the perfect skill. Diagnostics is what you actually want to use, but maybe you've run into this before. Hmm. <laughs> Ah, oh, did that not even go through? Dang it. What? GM typing. Yeah, the GM typed it and then it didn't go. Oh. Um. Someone else getting the message? Oh. Not I. <laughs> <laughs> um so the the group has decided to rest I think we got to investigate a bit. I don't think this is a good place to sleep. Yeah. yeah. So you guys... how, how, far are we, how far are we away from our camp? That's a good question. And we should probably forage if we can. Uh, it's hard to tell because you were walking at night following a river. Um, although the poor father, uh, sorry, brother Bertie, who you followed, walked very, very slow. Um, Let's see.
you're going to take a wild stab at it and say it's about a two to three hour walk back. Well, I will remind you that out? it's bright and early in the morning. Yeah. It's about 5 a.m. Um, the sun has just come up. Um, and I'll remind you that across the river, um, amongst the weeds and the grass and the shrubs, are still plenty of bodies um, still laying there. Oh, God. <laughs> So does it look like when we approached, like nothing's really changed? Uh, nothing has changed. Okay. Oh. All right, I can take a warning. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, maybe we should follow the river back, but forage on our way. Chair, sure, we can see if there's anything worth. There's also two. Uh, I um, uh, obviously I'm hand gesturing to Nino. Yep. There's two wolves that uh, got carried away. I think. Oh, right. We have to be on the lookout. Okay, and then I pass that on to the rest of the group. Um, and then we lost um, Brother B, too, right? Like, what? we don't Brother know what happened. B. Brother B. Didn't he? He got taken away by the water? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you recognize who he was, Marla? Brother Birdie. Oh, Brother Birdie. Okay. Um, a magical disease. Hmm. Meaning it very well could have been a curse. Could have been. Oh, it was Sir Morgan. Yeah. Sir Morgan, you were looking for somebody. A priest, right? Uh, what did yeah, they I I had been asked to check in on Brother Birdie to see what was uh, going on. I see. Uh, and he's, he's dead. Okay. That's what I was wondering if it was closed or not. Ooh, a moat? I, I do. Flash EM space. Oh, really? Just like, so it works like um, EverQuest did? Yep. Oh. Cool. Okay. Mm. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. 1998 wasn't that long ago. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Remember EverQuest. <laughs> a great game from back in the day oh yeah it was like <laughs> the game that started all the MMORPGs do 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 sad but true why did you die by a bear uh, I'm just that was me remembering uh, EverQuest Oh, really? <laughs> I, I had a lot of dealings with bears, and in fact, they would cross zones to kill me. What? Um, and then I tried EverQuest 2, and the first thing that killed me was a bear. Was a bear. No. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Are you talking about, like, in, uh, in like, East Freeport? West Freeport? Um, so long. Uh, maybe. I can't remember. I was a dark elf back in the day. Um, East Commons, West Commons. Yes, it was com That's right, because you had to get past the Freeport zone. And I remember in West Commons, everything there, like the orc camps that were on the periphery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Good memory. Okay, sorry. Did not mean to derail. So, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so I'm feeling kind of tired and hungry, but I also don't want to be around if these bodies get up. The bodies on the opposite side, um, from what you can tell, they look significantly more decayed. Okay. And also, you mentioned that the sun just came up, right? 
So we finished yes. our battle with the other zombies. Have we noticed like any change in those bodies since the sun rose? Not at all. Okay. They're not steaming or hissing, uh, oh. decomposing. They they haven't caught fire. Um, nope, nothing, nothing out of note. Okay. These aren't zombie zombies. These are something different. Oh right, that um, Ico pointed yeah, out this, to us already. Yeah, this disease. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, I hope we did not contract anything in that battle. <clears throat> But, uh, yeah. Don't worry, I'll let you know if you did. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, so what do you guys want to do? I think we should head back to our camp um, okay. because it's our camp, and it's away from here. Yeah. yeah, we can come back and look at some other time if we need. Agreed. I do think that we should try to forage on our way back, though, as much as we can. Sounds like a good idea. You mean in terms of um, bringing Brother B out of the church? Vandalized. <laughs> Did they see us? I don't know what was us. You think, Farla? <laughs> 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 it was some other strangers wandering through town. Well, our, is our camp like right next to town though, or is it kind of hidden no, away? No, it's uh, we went back to the place that we had rolled really well on from <laughs> um previous game. Okay. So then why don't we just go back to camp and not, you know, kind of circumvent the town maybe? <laughs> Do you yeah. want me to scout ahead? Because I can do that. If you like. All right. I'll be whistling uh, or blowing my whistle every once in a while to see if uh, Asha shows up. Okay. So I'm going to get a wee bit of a head start and be sneaky and head back. Okay. <clears throat> um, Nino, based on um, where your camp is, you think that you can guide the group back to um your camping spot by circum uh not circumnavigating by avoiding town okay skirting skirting the outside of town uh do you have any kind of a navigation skill i have let's see i think the closest thing i have to that is streetwise <laughs> so it doesn't no. really apply here yeah yeah <laughs> Okay, perfect. Perfect. Sounds like a plan. And then, and then before we leave, um, are these wolves diseased just like the undead? Um, everything that you just killed, they're all suffering from the same symptoms. They all have these hard, white, round, um, and they look okay. kind of wrinkled uh, growths on their skin. Anywhere that there would have had hair, these, these growths are, the hair is... Um, come out yeah um, i thought that you said the wolves were just regular wolves no no they're okay. suffering from it as well okay yeah but for the uh some of the bodies have these uh small growths so clustered around that they've uh they've almost become a hard shell yeah okay <clears throat> Let's uh, let's go foraging, I guess, right? Yeah. Does anyone have any kind of a foraging skill? Varla does. Yep. She tried to teach us, but we're really shitty students. <laughs> <laughs> no, Varla's typing to somebody. Oh. Oh. Excellent. You can try to teach me again, maybe. 
None. None. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> The, the way back is fairly easy to find because you can follow your own uh, your own trail through the forest. Um, the ground is so soft, your tracks are very easy to follow. Um, it takes uh, hours to get there, and by the time you get back to camp, you're you're all famished as well as incredibly hungry and sleepy. Um, Asha comes back, and you find uh, Treva and Wolfier. Um, they are sitting at camp. They have a small fire going. There's lots of uh, small bones uh, lying in piles uh, around the fire, and uh, they seem quite content. Oh, fine to eat. Uh, when you get back, uh, Treva is the first one to uh, see you come in, and she stands up, and she says in her thick gypsy accent, what did you find? Are we done? Can we go? Are we done with this place? <clears throat> this terrible place. It's no good. It is kind of terrible. We found disease. We found violence. Not much else. <laughs> Do you think that we have to uh, try and stop the spread of this disease? find its source what disease you are sick out with you out no. of camp i do not want this disease no, we are not sick and, and she sure. begins waving her hand towards you like you're diseased and lepers <laughs> wolf here make, make them go they are they are they are sick to us now oh god <laughs> but wolf here rolls his eyes and leans further back into the grass I know how much he likes Asha, so I blow my whistle again. Uh, Asha is, has come to your side. Oh, She's okay, there. wonderful. Asha. Then I, we, we come into camp despite Asha's or um, uh, okay, Travis's uh, uncomfortableness, and uh, I lie down. Mm -hmm. Travis moves as far away from Asha as possible. <laughs> okay. Um, do we know if we have any luck foraging? Oh, uh, who would like to have done a foraging roll? I think everybody. <laughs> Can I help? <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll do one as well. Um, one person makes a foraging roll, and anyone who wishes to assist adds their ranks to the roll. Oh, I you have can add one. my one rank to your roll. <laughs> <laughs> One. Ah. <laughs> Anyone else? Can I add my cooking spill? <laughs> nope. Cooking yeah, I, I know what ingredients look like. You do. <laughs> they come in bags and sacks. No, not always. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes they quack like a duck. I know what berries look like. Those come from the store. Mm -mm. Um, if you do not have ranks in foraging, um, you it's too easy to confuse one berry with another. So you would not okay. be an assistant. Is that why oh. I'm passed out on the ground with foam coming out of my mouth? No, that's that's only at a full moon. You're fine. <laughs> this is yours, I think. It's yours. Um, Varla, with, uh, with your role, um, you find a handful of berries, but it's not even enough to fill to feed one person. Oh. Who is that? Oh, okay, just checking. Yeah, I grin. <laughs> I'm like, oh, for me, and I eat one. <laughs> <clears throat> like, okay, I'll memorize the way these look, and I won't eat the other berries. <laughs> Uh, how long do you wish to remain at camp? Long enough to feel better. Yeah. How long would it take me to heal, actually, out of curiosity? You heal um, 
one hit per hour while moving or three hits per hour while resting? So I'd like a minimum of three hours of rest, um, but uh, <laughs> let's say until we feel like we're energized. I think all of you would appreciate at least four hours, if not six to eight hours of sleep. How long does it to does it take to recover power points? Eight hours. Okay. Yeah, uh, eight hours sounds great. Mm-hmm. I oh, fine. <laughs> I like eight hours. I guess we've got to move in shadows, so we probably should stay on this kind of move around at night mm -hmm. schedule. That's you uh, will all feel fully rested, let's say, by dinner um, that night. So you, you spend the day lounging under the shade of of the, the grasses in the swamp. No one disturbs you because you rolled so well in finding this spot. Oh, oh man. Thank you. Yay. Perfect. Oh. That's Wait, impressive. we got diseased? If we got diseased. Oh. Okay. Okay. Hang on. I'm trying to see if I have... I think I have some, like, food in my... Um, yeah. I was going to say, everybody gets to mark off another full day of food. <laughs> um, I have something called Ulganor. What is Ulganor? It is... Enchanted bread. A dose is a four inch slice or a four ounce slice, sorry. A slice provides a day's nutrition. So I have five. Um, and since there were so many bones by the fire, I'm only going to, to disperse this bread amongst the people that were with me fighting. <laughs> <laughs> you have a tummy spell? Ah, all right. So I tuck one piece away, and then I I pass out um the other three and eat one myself. Okay. Okay. Thank so you. Down. You are welcome. See, I may be a burglar, but I'm not all bad. <laughs> <laughs> I burgle things for my friends. <laughs> so Treva and Moldier, how did you find food? Oh, the swamp it is full of frogs. They are easy to catch. They're oh. easy to catch. You want to make us some dinner? <laughs> they taste like chicken. They do. Mm hmm. <laughs> Dirty chicken. <clears throat> Rava very rarely makes eye contact, but she makes eye contact with you when you make the request, and she says, I will find frog for you. But you. Oh. you have never shared food with me. You must share food to... from now on. No, I've shared healing things for you, haven't I? No. Here, none of you, of none of you share food with Treva. And Treva is so hungry. <laughs> no, that is that is not food. But I, I, I fetch frog for you. Thank you. And she, uh, she pushes herself up, um, and her, her uh, peasant dress, it's, uh, it's absolutely filthy from the waist down now. But uh, she goes wading back into the swamp. Does that mean we don't have to delete a ration? Uh, nope. That means I'm going to make a foraging roll for her and see if she finds something. Oh, boy. Help if I actually added her skill. Those oh. are cool. What the? <laughs> I want to buy it. dice. <laughs> Did you buy those? <laughs> Maybe. Treva <laughs> does come back about an hour later. She has one frog. Oh. Um, she slits its belly, uh, puts it on a stick, and cooks it over the fire for you. Oh. I go. Aw. It made it into a perfectly good stew. Nom nom. No. And then uh, when, it, when, it, when it's cooked, she gives it to you. Interesting. Thank you. You guys want a leg? <laughs> no, I'm okay. 
Hey, it, red. It's uh, 7.30 slash 10.30 uh, Eastern time. Um, do you guys want to call it here or do you want to go back and investigate uh, the dragon's lair? Um, I'm actually okay either way. I'm on vacation. I don't care. Anyone? Anyone? I'm good. There's a dragon's lair? Oh, sorry. I meant Lich's lair. My bad. I was like, did I miss something? A lich's lair? I assumed it was a dragon lair. That's where the dragonettes came from. Yeah. yeah. Obviously. All right. <laughs> um, let's take a five minute break because I need to use a washroom. And um, I I'm sure everybody wants to stretch their room. legs and yeah. buy better dice. Okie doke. <laughs> My goodness. Wait, I, I might. The, the free ones are but cool. I've already looked at the free dice, though. These are right. $5 per pack? Oh, my mm. gosh. I, I, of course. I spent $5 for cool. mine. They're great. But the monster <laughs> dice are so cool. <laughs> but, 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 but. Okay, I'm going to go make a root beer float. All right, you're right, right but that's the game. Get rid of these hiccups. <laughs> And I'm back. Spending all our money looking at dice. Jeez, I tell you.
There you are. Aiko is downstairs. Um, I don't know what she's doing, but I just heard the fridge open and close. <laughs> <laughs> We're all thinking the same thing. Yes, we are. <laughs> Are you getting tired, Phil? Uh, no, you have um, just started the adventure that I am turning into a module into a published module. Cool. Not congrats to me. You guys are play testing it to figure out where the big holes are. So I'm excited. I've never play tested anything before. Well, not that I know of. Okay. All right, I'm back. I'm in. Just tell me where I need to be. <laughs> um. Okay, the only person I haven't heard from is Sir Morgan. Yeah, I'm here. Oh, perfect. So after uh, a good afternoon of rest, some napping, um, eating of a frog, <clears throat> the uh, everyone should have their PowerPoints back and everyone I think should be fully healed so you can put any damage you've got back up to zero. Ah. During that period, I would have told uh, Asha to feed herself and then come back. Okay. Why does my exhaust exhaustion show as 83 max? I don't actually use exhaustion points. Um, okay. You guys are new to the system, so I don't want to crush you guys with rules. But it adds another dimension of if you fight for a long time uh, or mm -hmm. as you're doing like a, a dungeon delving, um, you have to take periodic breaks or you oh. start taking penalties from just outright exhaustion. Gotcha. There are so many tables. Oh, I need I need the book. Like I need the printed book. Um the PDF of the book is pinned in the Rollmaster chat. I mean like I'm one of those weirdos who needs a physical copy of something to really absorb it. I am too. I am yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe there's a common thread between that and role players. Do do do. Maybe. This is this is actually an older version of the game. There is a newer version, but they haven't ported it, ported it into uh, Fantasy Grounds yet. I would like to switch to it. Um, and of course, I bought the physical copies of that. I haven't bought the PDFs. Um, but oh, can't switch to it. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Of course they're expensive. They are. Well, well, I shouldn't be surprised. Ourselves so that I can sneak into Newman's house while they're in town. Yeah, let's go do it. Okay. I'm down. That's the plan? Yeah. Interesting. We need food. <laughs> we need food. We'll Add leave them food. beer in exchange. Yes. And then we'll go do some reconnaissance. Yes. Uh, I confess that I was completely unprepared for um, robbery, burgling a farmer's home. <laughs> I'm not burgling, <laughs> and it's an exchange of goods. And he is an instigator I mean, in town. You said so. Yeah. Yeah. Additionally, this this person has instigated and burned down people's houses. Yeah. And this is this isn't stealing as much as restitution. Thank you, Paladin. <laughs> I do not feel bad about doing this now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if the Paladin's okay with it. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, I think he's okay with it, because we said we're going to leave, you know, goods. Uh -huh, yes, uh -huh. that, that is the other thing. I mean... Well, actually an asshole. I know. I mean, yeah. if the Paladin wasn't with us, I probably would not have suggested that, but... <laughs> Well, faced with the prospect of starvation, you've obviously made your choice. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, I don't want to waste a bunch of time on this. So what I'll do is Nino, mm -hmm. as, as the person who you think, uh, or as, as the person who will be 
uh, the food relocation specialist. Yes. <laughs> um, pick the highest appropriate skill that you have. Uh, lock picking, pickpocketing, um, whatever stock and hide, whatever you think your highest skill is. Ooh. I'll have you make a roll. It'll be a uh, no modifiers. Okay. And for um, every 20 that you beat 101, you'll get an extra day of food. Wait, for every 20 that I beat 101? Yeah, so at 101, you get you find one day of food. <laughs> oh. At 121, you get two days of food. Oh, okay. And if anyone else wants to help um, and they have the same skill, you can add your ranks onto her skill. What's okay. the skill we're using? So I have the, my highest skill is pickpockets. It's plus fifty. Please or tell actually, me the paladin has ranks in pickpockets. Plus eighty-two. Yeah. No, I, no, no, I don't. That would have been funny though. Wouldn't that would have. Yeah. That was hilarious. It's a plus eighty-two. Nice. Okay. Does anyone have uh, pick pickpocketing? No. Does three no. wise help pickpocketing. It does not. It should. Not in this case. <laughs> yeah. Then no. What about okay. wolf gear? Uh, that's a good question. Yeah. I forgot about that guy. I did too. <clears throat> Wait, which guy? Wolf ear? Wolf ear. Oh. He's a good fighter. Mm hmm. He is. Sorry, it's just taking a moment to load. No problem. I don't think Wolfier would have pickpocket, but maybe. L M N O. He. Nope, he's the guy who can't even pick a lock. <laughs> oh, okay, that's right. That's why I had to go into the bar with him. Yep. Okay. Um, however, mm -hmm. um, Treva will will meekly offer to assist in any way that she can, and oh. she will donate plus four. Thank you, Treva. All right, so is this just going to be a straight up roll? No. She's hungry too. Yeah. No modifiers? No modifiers. Okay, here I go. Cross your fingers, people. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Okay, Plus so four. 21, 31, 41, 51, 61, 71. Uh, so one, two, three. So uh, if my math is right, that's four days of food. You find four days of food. Okay. Thank you, Newman. Newman. <laughs> for everybody? Oh, it's for everybody if she shares it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant, it was it four days for the group or four days for Jana? Four days okay. total. Okay. Okay. But again, the, um, the produce that you find here, it's um, somewhat wilted and misshapen uh it's not terribly appetizing it will only last normal rations will last uh, a week right. these will only last a maximum of four days before they're inedible yeah they'll be okay. the first things you eat basically mm, yeah. i pickle them <laughs> pickle lettuce <laughs> mm, delicious <laughs> pickle anything dude True. True too. i've got cucumbers can you pickle me <laughs> oh lord oh dear <clears throat> all right so we will say that that takes um the evening so it is the now the evening for four rations <laughs> which we've hey, now man, which... i'm just a little person i had to carry it all myself <laughs> which we've now eaten because of the one day that has now passed <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay. okay. But yes, um, I can I can provide very shortly <laughs> for the party. It will drain <laughs> me, but I I can do it. Next week I can do this. I'm Next sure week, same bedtime. <laughs> same bedtime. <laughs> okay, so now that we're back on track and I'm I'm done burgling people. Right. Yes. Uh yeah, I leave um what like uh, fill one cup with some beer four rations feels like not a full water skin worth of beer yeah okay what so, do you think 
I I pour a glass of beer out of the water skin and I take the rest of the water skin back with me. (laughs) Okay, fair enough. You have successfully burgled burgled the peasants. Well done. (laughs) Negative XP. You lose a level. Do you make me feel bad? Because I don't. (laughs) Nice. Okay. Back to Kevin. Back to Kiev. Okay. All right. Uh, The sun comes up. Um, (laughs) After your night of burgling, uh, (laughs) the... The camp that you've made in the swamp is uh, beginning to become somewhat unusable. Uh, the rains continue. The water levels are rising. The mm. ground is getting mushy. You think it would be a good time to move. Okay. Wow. I look up at the sky and I say, I sense that we should be moving now. Okay. All right. Well, so I, let's see. Is this a cave? No, right now you're in the swamp. Oh. Oh. Oh, um, you're back on the main map? Or the, the, well the map there. where you were? Yeah. yeah. Um, when you come back, uh, it's still fairly early in the morning, um, but you have horses in tow, you have Treva and Wolfir in tow. Um, the bodies that you killed uh, of the goblins and the dragonette and the elk and so on, uh, they're all laying exactly in the same place where you left them. Oh, hmm. excellent. Okay. Can we behead them? If you so choose to, what would you like to behead them with? My axe, obviously. My um, my uh, returning uh, pole axe. That You're would hearing... be an ideal weapon. Yes, you can. Mm-hmm. All right, then I will coup de grace all of Your the ones we've axe. killed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's hardly <laughs> even messy. Um, most of these corpses don't seem to have much or any blood left in them. Mm. Wonderful. Uh, I'll move the heads away from the bodies as well. Maybe kick okay. them into the river. Well, Faster than okay. But wait, don't kick them into the river. Oh, that okay, might poison okay. it. Oh, uh, you're right. Point. Never mind. I'll bury the heads. Uh, where would you like to bury them? Just anywhere or... Right here, on this side. Easily enough. Um, the ground is soft enough. Um, it, it's fine to dig. Okay. Uh, we'll say that that takes uh, an hour. Sure. It's still fairly early in the morning. We should explore uh, the other side of the bank. Mm-hmm. Nino, it looks like, has already uh, wandered <laughs> to the far side of the bank. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. I guess you she's know. Ba- banking on nothing happening. Wah, wah, hi. <laughs> I, I climbed up the cliff. Sure is. I'm a really good climber, so I climbed up uh, the cliff and around the water. Nino, could you give me a perception roll, please, in the tower? Yes, I can. Oh, in the tower? I'm coming over, too. I don't like that. Um, Aiko, could you also give me a perception roll in the tower? Mm. Oh, How about, boy. How about me? <laughs> Uh, nope. Do. Only the first two people who say stuff get to roll. Damn it. So that means I can roll, right? You snooze, you lose. Oh. Uh... Nope, not that. Ooh, that's not right. That's definitely not right. What's not right? Mm-hmm. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> Wait a minute. This is not my office. <laughs> This is not my beautiful wife. <laughs> um, How did I get here? Once in a long time. Go by. <laughs> <laughs> Walking on the other side of the river, um, there are only about half the bodies that uh, awoke uh, and came across to attack you or defend themselves from you. And um, the other half are laying uh, much more decayed uh, in the grass where they fell. Some have weeds growing through them. Some you can actually see bones. But it looks like they've been there for um, a significant amount of time. Okay. So, sorry, I I was reading something during the first half of that. I got the... the... (laughs) Sorry, Phil. I got the part from where you said... um... We oh wait what? The bodies where 
were laying in the grass, like in the area where the other ones came up to defend from? Is that what you were saying? Um, only about half of the bodies um, that were on this side of the bank rose. Okay. And the ones that are left are far more decayed than the ones that um, that still lay in the grass that you're walking through and around. Okay. <clears throat> the ones that rose being the ones that we've already killed. Correct. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Do these ones have any skin or pustules or anything like that? Um, they all Great question. Yeah. Okay. And the other ones on the other half of the bank, you said they even had blood. So do these guys have blood at all? Um, no. Um, these are are um, dry, and uh, there's not there's not much left of them. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> cool. Good question. Hmm. So I see a door. Is it oh. a jar? <laughs> no, it's a door. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? It's uh, mounted in, or it's been carved, as a matter of fact, into one of the cliff faces. Oh. A friend and enter. Assuming that um, you lead people over to the door? Yes. Hey, guys, a door. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What, what this looks you... like the tomb of the Silver Queen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's titled, is it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you have no idea. But this is good because it's, you know, being vetted. Uh, yep, I'll, I'll have to adjust that later. Yeah. Um, yep. It's an ancient-looking wood door that's been um, set into a stone, uh, a stone frame. Mm -hmm. um, the stonework is obviously richly carved uh, with a variety of images, but the images seem uh, very generic. Um, they don't seem to reference uh, anything uh, that you immediately recognize. The lintel above the door, however, is carved with words. Um, and the door itself does not seem to have a handle. Mm. Oh. Really? Oh, well. oh. The door is old enough that uh, it doesn't fit snugly into its frame anymore. Um, <laughs> There's small gaps between the wood. You, you could probably squeeze your fingers underneath the door if you felt so inclined. Mm -hmm. um, mm. The door is still sturdy, but uh, there is no uh, obvious handle in to open it. Yeah, it almost looks like you read can the words? read the words or even push little panels on the door, it looks like almost. Oh, yeah, maybe. This is true. Let's go inspect it. Closer. Okay. Uh, tread not the path of the dead. Damnation to all who enter. Ooh. Cursed to remain here forever. Hmm. I am quite sorry. Tread not <clears throat> in the chat window. Carved into the niche. So. Now, just out of curiosity, when I tr put that over, is that legible to everyone? Yeah. Or I no? Put, put what over? In Do the you text see box, the chat window. Yeah, we can see it. Yeah, yeah. we can see it. Oh, can you read it? Tread not the path of the dead. Stone of the dead damnation to all who have tread. Did you set the language? I did. Yeah. But apparently, oh. when you just drag text over, it doesn't work. Yeah, it's a oh. typing thing. So okay. what I should have done okay. was that. Yeah. There you go. Yes. Oh. Yeah. I don't know what the hell oh. it says. No. I know what it says. <laughs> I can read it. <laughs> oh. So I, cool. I will read it out. Uh, yeah, well, not you... the path of the dead. Damnation to all. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Question, GM. Blah. I chose that <laughs> language, but it says speak only. Oh. Oh, interesting. Let me look at mine. I actually have to... Um, I meant to talk to you about your languages, and we'll go into that later. Um, I left one blank. Yeah. And um, because you should have a third language, but I thought you might want one of the magical languages at a companion one. Oh, cool. I'll look at that, too, then. Okay. I, I, I can read and write Zorian, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's yes, because me. you are, in fact, um, oh, of Zorian heritage. Zorian, yeah, I have Zorian as well. You do? <laughs> you are also a Zorian. Oh, nice. Why can't I read it, then? Uh, because you're a loser. No. <laughs> nice. 
You have pink hair instead of purple. The asshole. <laughs> I don't know. Let me take a look at your character. Uh, you should be able to. You've got both written and spoken. Yeah, doesn't show up. Uh, hold on. Let me try. Do you there. do you have to change the filters on your chat in order to be able to read it? Maybe. You shouldn't have to, but let me try pasting it in again and see if it comes out for you this time. Oh, yeah, there's a drop down be... box. Yeah. There's, yeah, for us, like, for what I'm seeing, I see first the translation. Oh, okay, sorry. Translation. Yeah, I okay. see. Yeah, yeah, yes. You were, you were looking at just the tax. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Oh, okay. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. There's no what handle, the and there's no obvious lock that you uh, would expect. There's only a small hole about the size of a roll of quarters. Really? Where where in the door is the hole? Uh, it's in the middle on the right-hand side. Okay. Not right against oh. the edge. It's, uh, it's about a hand span away from the frame. Okay. So then I say, uh... oh, no, I don't understand what the door says so i'm not going to say anything uh i said it out to you though oh, yeah he read it out thank you yeah. so what do you think do we go in <laughs> do we try to go in Damnation to all yeah <laughs> like do you think this is what happened to those guys laying in the field over there it would like, surprise me yeah it would be a hell of a coincidence if that's not the case um also, I guess my other question is, we didn't really rifle through any of the bodies to see if there was anything on them, or were they all completely naked? The human um, had a pack. The human had a pack. Okay. Yeah, let's but, look through all of them. Yeah. Let's okay. go look at the human. Cool. All right. I'm going to see what you I can burgle off the not. remaining bodies. I I would like to look around here for a doorknob. Uh, there is no handle or doorknob. I mean, in the bushes. Ah, gotcha. Uh, give me a perception roll, please. Ah, oops. I like those dice. <laughs> I will take the first roll. <laughs> I will always take the first roll. And, uh, That's the way it should be. You do not find uh, a doorknob lying in the dirt. Okay. Um, the the animals are obviously carrying nothing. Uh, mm -hmm. The goblins, um, they're not wearing clothes. They're wearing rags that have been... Um, they wear rags at the best of times, but the rags over uh, just being exposed to the elements have degraded even further. The human is wearing... Uh, he looks like he was some kind of a traveler. He's wearing... Um, um, thick pants... Uh, a leather jacket. Uh, he has a, a weapons belt around his belt around his waist. Uh, he has two scabbards, one long and one short, but both of the scabbards are empty. Uh, he has a shoulder bag over one shoulder, but when you look inside of it, it's uh, been empty as well. On one hip, uh, he has what looks like two map cases or or maybe scroll cases. Um, they're both made of a uh, combination of leather, wood, and string. They're very mm -hmm. simple, um, but they're decorated with beads and somewhat pretty. They're still at least intact, um, mm -hmm. but he doesn't have a hat. Uh, he doesn't have any jewelry. You think the man is probably middle-aged. Uh, he has a beard, uh, but it's hard to tell what he actually looks like due to the damage to his face and how badly his face is decomposed. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> of course, if any of you uh, would like to uh, search him further, uh, I just need to know who is going to be brave enough to do it. Oh, boy. Why? What could possibly go wrong? Someone with a <laughs> deft touch, yes. Does anyone have gloves? <laughs> nope. We can I don't skin... volunteer mine. We that can skin that uh, desiccated wolf over there for you for me gloves. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> can we find a twig and just kind of poke at him? 
Well, the other <laughs> I thing I could do... I do have gloves. I mean, I guess... Yeah, okay. But, you know, I, I don't want to get the... Actually, um, Barla, you cast the that spell on us that won't allow the disease to progress. Oh, yes. I ask, I ask her how it works. Um, does that mean, because assuming, you know, we came into contact with the same disease that, that this body has, if I pick it up after you've cast that spell, will it affect me in the same way? Mm, or that, that is a good question. If it is a curse, however, you are fucked no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> disease is one thing but if if this door says curse you might you know what they mean yes i know what you mean and then i look over to the palette and i'm like so do you have anything that can unfuck a curse <laughs> <laughs> uh no okay what you are not seventh right. level <laughs> oh really okay oh yeah there oh, we no. go uh Sure, I was curious. No, eighth level. Oh, damn. Raza. So, what do we think? Should I should I inspect this body? I mean, if we are low on provisions or items, you, you never know what it could hold, but I don't know. Maybe wait until we remove the curse of this place. Maybe okay. check out those uh, map cases there. Mm. Yeah, let's do that. The only reason why I'd, I'd like to inspect it is because maybe it has some object that would fit in that hole in the door. Oh, you found um, hole. I could points to her nose. Oh, yeah, nice. there's, there's a hole in the door and something needs to go in it. <laughs> no, without glory, it's just a hole. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, that was terrible. <laughs> Funny, but terrible. <laughs> now I can't share this online. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Well, I guess. Are we, the map, the, the map cases look like you you could probably reach those um, without uh, too much risk. Um, but if you wish to check uh, pockets in the inside of the jacket and whatnot, um, look for uh, jewelry under his shirt. Um, you'll you'll be rifling the body itself. Okay. Um, so does anybody have some sort of um, high density cloth? I could. I don't <laughs> mind rifling through the body, but I. Do you have gloves? I do have gloves. I do have gloves. Okay. How about I? Let's see. I tear off a band of fabric from the bottom of one of my pant legs to make a mask, and then I use the the gloves that Morgan has. And I okay. will delicately and deftly rifle through the pockets of nice. the human's clothing. Um, the pockets, unfortunately, uh, are completely empty. I better not get cursed. <laughs> he has um, a small and very simple uh, wooden symbol over his neck. Uh, it's it's on a leather a leather strap, a leather thong. Uh, okay. It's about two inches tall. <clears throat> and okay. it's the symbol of a tree. A tree. Okay. Um, Do I recognize that you, skimble? Um, skimble? What skill would you like to use to recognize the symbol? Uh, lore church? Sure. Give me a roll. Lore, lore witch? Church. Okay. I have lore general. Richie. Lore. Sweet. Damn. <laughs> you have grown up with this symbol. Oh, God. <laughs> you've, you've seen it. You've seen it many, many times. Um, the goddess uh, Elura, sister of Kay, um, goddess of 
the earth, growing things, spring, childbirth. It's her symbol. Oh. It's, yeah, this is the symbol of uh, my aunt, or the oh. uh, Kay's sister. Oh. Really? Um. She's also one of the common gods that everyone um, is familiar with, the gods of Orhan that live on the moon, that constantly look down and see everything that happens in the world. Okay. That almost sounds like Olympus. Um, cool. I actually think that's who they modeled the gods after. Yeah, exactly. Oh, really? I gotta murder a kitten. It's back <laughs> here. All right, so... Other than the cool symbol, we basically have nothing off of the body. You don't. Okay. The only thing that you got was a very pungent smell of death. Ugh. Great. And I assume the map cases that he had on his hip? Mm-hmm. For sure. Okay. What's inside? Um, I open them up. Um... Okay. No, no, you just, um, uh, they're not Welcome. even, they're not even sealed. It's just got a, a, a fitted, uh, a fitted top, a fitted wood, fitted wooden top. Mm -hmm. Um, and there's two pieces of paper in each. Okay. Um, so I pass the papers on to the more scholarly types in the group. Like here, Morgan, you take this. Um, Kamau, are you straight up fighter I can't remember. Uh, I don't like to put myself in a box. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I hand the parchments around, and I'm like, does anybody know what these are? Because I know I won't. I doubt I will. Can I read it to you? Uh, possibly. In chat, I added a parcel. Yeah. Looks mm, like yeah. scrolls. <laughs> When you look at the, each each piece of paper has uh, a picture painted on it, but over top of the picture, um, the way magic works in this world is it's um, magic doesn't glow, but magic, uh, for example, it looks like water on cement. It looks like jelly on bread. It shines. It's very mm -hmm. easy to see, and you can see. Each one of these has magical writing on them. Okay. Different colored magical writing, it looks like. Correct. Um, Varla, as a um, as someone who knows something of magic, uh, I'm just using the standard magical colors of blue for essence, green for mentalism, red for channeling. Oh, red for channeling, okay. Okay. <clears throat> if anyone would like to try and figure out what they do, it would be a runes roll. Runes? Oh, I'm yes. ruined. I don't have that skill. Not of me, Faye. That can be huge different bonuses depending on what you guys have to... Oh, really? Um, let's see. Do we have detection magic in the party? I've got detect traps. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've detect undead. Hey. Uh, I don't know, Dad. Okay. Staves and wands. No runes. Runes. Okay. Lord. Uh, I don't have the runes. Here's runes. I don't runes. have any ranks in it. You have runes, Marlo? No, it's minus eighteen. Oh. So I have a, a little bit of point, but... Okay. Um, would any type of Daddy, lore okay. help her? Say again? Uh, this would be specific to the rune skill. Okay. I'm just going to look up, because I actually don't... I don't think that uh, Stabs and Wands is a crossover, but I'm going to take a quick look at it. What do faces? Yeah, I don't have any detection. There it is. Mm. 
No, it would be specifically runes. Yeah. Do you do power perception with the basic perception skill, or...? Um, no, uh, what I just described, um, where um, for, uh, you, can, you can see active magic that's Im embedded in things. Yeah, that's true. Blue for essence, red for channeling, so that's true. So at least we'll have the, um, at least we'll have the bonus for realm known. Yes. So 10 for realm known, and then minus 30 if it's against your realm. Okay, so I can do the red ones, and then I can just try the blue ones, even though they're opposite kind of thing. I've got a 40-something. Runes, 40, 39. That's it. 40-something <laughs> is 39. So uh, plus 10 for realm known. And then if you add the different bonuses for uh, for the other stuff, I can roll that for you. You want it in the tower? No. Um, out in the open is fine. Uh, you have to just have to tell me which one you would like to try first. I'll do the ones that are of my realm first, the red ones. Um, so I guess, what is it, Knight and Stag were red? That is correct. Okay. So since we fought a stag, let's go with the stag first. Oh. Um, so yeah, plus okay. 10, and then whatever the other bonuses you want to add to that or take away. Uh, okay. So, so little, 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 little runes. Just dragging it to my hotbar. No, that's fine. Uh, nope. Definitely not. No. Okay, and then knight. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh oh. <laughs> so usually I would scare my players by saying, Do you read the rune out loud or do you, you know, silently mumble it? And if you fumble, it was, No, I read it out loud and I pointed at someone as a target. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm going to have to actually look the skill up to see what a fumble actually is. No entails. doubt. Yeah. Oh, no. What is that? Oh, boy. Well, it usually means you activate whatever it is on yourself. Well, that's but... it. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, so, I, again, I don't, I don't know if there's a bonus uh, for being able to cast it and stuff because that will raise the negative but or raise You're it closer to zero. I might become someone's pet. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Master, you want me to slit whose throat? If the total is negative, the spell of the rune is cast on the character attempting to decipher the rune or a random bystander if the GM deems it appropriate. Yeah, oh. exactly. And this you was the knight? the furthest one away This from was the knight because the stag was the first one yet. And I'm changing my desk color. <laughs> uh, you do inadvertently activate the rune. It does affect you. Uh, however, do you wish it to affect you? Oh, do you mean do I wish it to affect somebody else? No. Do you wish to resist the spell? Oh, I got gotcha. you. Oh, that's a good question. I'm going to say no, because I'm thinking that these are good if it's channeling, like healing magic, that kind of thing. The words fade, uh, and all you're left with is the image of, um, of the knight on the page. Um, you, you have a, a coppery taste in the back of your throat. It's the same coppery taste people get any time a spell is cast on them and they're aware of it. Oh, okay. Um, you feel um, all over your body a um, pins and needles sensation. Mm. And there's a soft red glow, but it's very brief. It fades and there's no effect. Hmm, interesting. I grab at my throat and claw at it in front of them with all my wide eyes. <laughs> Don't read that one again. Oh dear. What did it do? What did it do? It uh it gave me acid reflux. 
<laughs> Angela. I am sorry. Got some uh, chalk. Do you want to chew on this chalk? <laughs> yeah. Chalk full of nutrients. Plush chalk. Uh. <laughs> still here. Beating, but still here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Did you want to end it there then, Jim? Or? Very good. Are you going to roll for the other two? Uh, I can, yeah. The, if it's essence, is do we have an essence user in the party or no? No, that was Borb, right? That was Borb. Oh, okay. Borb? Oh, right. Well, I've changed my dice, baby, so here we go. Okay. You know, you, you've open-ended down. Now it's time to open-end up. Dude, yeah. my dice have been weird tonight, yeah. Uh, <laughs> which one would you like to pick next? Oh, sorry. I'll do the top one out of the group there. Okay, the scroll of the moon. Right. Oh. Uh, you are absolutely flummoxed as to what it could possibly be. Okay. Yeah, these dice are sucking. Oh, and this isn't a plus 10 anymore because it's essence, so. Oh, no, it's not. Technically, it's like minus 30, I think. It yeah. is. Oh. So it's, yeah, it's almost impossible, but we'll try it. Uh, might as well if nobody else can. Yeah. Um, and yeah, these aren't to cast. I just want to learn what they are. Mm -hmm. But here's the next one. No. Uh, same thing. You have yeah. n absolutely no idea. Yeah. I go, I am sorry. These, these are not my realm of potential magic. Okay. Well, we tried. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, with that moment of absolute glory, I think this is a great place to call it. Okay. Thanks for the game, okay, guys. Sorry I was late. Yeah, no worries. I think we were all a little bit late. Well, I was anyway. <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't. <laughs> nice. All right. Um, are we? Do we have any ideas of when we're going to... Okay, guys, I'll end her there. Thank you so much for listening to the game and watching if you got a chance to do so. We'll have another session usually on the weekends and every two weeks for this game. Uh, but yeah, GM Grim Grimbold is uh, is a cool GM, and he's got a cool bunch of players. So it's it'll be interesting. Take care, enjoy, happy gaming, bye bye.